Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Curbside Podcast presents Dice Hard with a Vengeance. Uh, we are back with our weekly episode. I believe we're up to 16. We are oh we are God. plugging away at these episodes and we're having a blast. Uh, Wait a second, we're out. old enough to drive? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> with supervision. With supervision. Yeah, so, who's the adult? Uh, uh, not yeah. I think the, the DM is uh, the adult in this one. I mean, he's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching. Um, we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in every week to watch Dice Hard with a Vengeance. Um, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and uh, tap the little bell on your YouTube app so you don't miss an upload. Um, on top of that, we're also including the link again this week for UWC's Toys for Tots uh, charity drive. Uh, donate what you can. Every little bit helps, and it's a fantastic cause. So, thank you guys for your support. Um, and it is the Christmas season, everyone. It's officially December, so it's it's the time of giving. It's the time of you know uh, cheer and and great Christmas carols and not so <laughs> great Christmas pressure. carols. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, feeling chipper. Let's start with the oath. I, Naramos Torin, do solemnly swear to not be a murder hobo. Corralos. I, Corralos Abrazar, do solemnly swear to not be a murder hobo. Lady Bear. I, Veronese, Afate Deonar, Arania, do solemnly swear not to be a murder hobo. <laughs> Belden. I, Belden, you should know my last name by now. <laughs> solemnly swear to not be a murder hobo. Taruk. I, Tarouk, oh, no. <laughs> I, Tarouk, this, <laughs> do solemnly swear to not be a murder hobo. Natil. I, Natil Starag, do solemnly swear to not be a murder hobo. DM. When we last left off. <laughs> <laughs> when we last left our heroes? Heroes is a strong word. Heroes is a strong uh, word, yeah. The party uh, continued rediscovering Brian. And after a little bit of shopping, a little bit of, uh, well, finding out the fate or the possible future of certain flames uh, within the group and uh, a little bit of shopping, a little bit of uh, reacquaintancing with the proprietor of Magical Oddities and... Um, also Maxine's Mixtures the party found themselves at the Hall of Records in Brian and we're nearing the end of the day and I believe where we are going to pick up is with Taruk who is trying to do some research now who went to the was, did we all go to the library or was it just me Taruk and Metagast my understanding was everybody was there. Yeah, and if I think not, we we all ahead. went. We finished that. Taru it was yeah. Taruk's idea. Okay, so Taruk, you were heading this up that you were going to conduct some research, and that that's what we're going to pick up, man. So uh, yeah, what what are you uh, what are you trying to research? Well, I want to find um, ancestors, basically, or something. Like genealogy. Yeah, like a tree, anything, you know, the history of Metagas and just see sure. if he has family around or not, or he's supposed to own land or claim it or you know, whatever. Right. Now, is the Hall of Records in the library? Would I know that for Taruk? Um, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a uh, think of it kind of like a mun municipality building that would function for a little bit of the uh, the town's um hall of records it would be where you would go if you were interested in purchasing land that kind of thing okay so yeah i figure easily enough i know where that is yeah yeah you would know yeah you would know where that is and so um guide Taruk. so we're looking for like a genealogy that we're looking for yeah basically yeah i'm getting a uh you're looking for family genealogy uh history that you can find on nobility not necessarily in brine but as far as the old kingdom is concerned the DC will be high on this, but I'm going to let one person assist you in the research. So, 
Uh, you go ahead. I'm going to make that a history check because you were definitely researching history. Who so is we, the next strongest link? Yeah. Is this all public information? We don't, so are we in like a, is it like a, we're at like a study table? Or are we at like an office or? Yeah, think of it like a library. You, you I mean, what, what, you just want to be kind of sec sequestered off to the side? What, what do you? Just wondering if there's like people around or if it's just us pretty much. Uh, uh, what you see is a, a couple attendees that are, you know, putting books away, categorizing people who'd be there to assist you um, as far as finding anything. Oh, what's serious um, question? Are we yeah. social distanced? Uh, you, you, you are so traumatized, my you, sweet summer you, child. I'm so sorry. You are your character. I think all of us are okay <laughs> on Zoom. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to inject a little humor, but we're, we're good. I think you should be fine. <laughs> Pandemics. <laughs> Although you don't know the cause of Thera Lee's husband's death. Don't, don't, don't. Look, Brian, I just want to say I didn't do it. I was with you guys the whole time. <laughs> this man and has an said. alibi. I, I, Which one? He also has an invisible cat. <laughs> he's not invisible it's anymore. Damn it, George. <laughs> you got me. He, he's not invisible anymore. It. At that, you said, I'm right here, dude. <laughs> I see you. We know. We, we know, <laughs> hey. Mr. Kitty. I know, Mr. Kitty. Okay, uh, true. that is on you for the history roll, and I'll give you advantage if somebody's assisting you. All right, uh, Veer, do you want to help me? Um, that's well, I could. Uh, I, ha I haven't really been here very much. I'm sorry. The um, I'm a, I'm much more of a performer than I am a researcher. I don't know if any of your companions might be more useful. I would assume uh, Sir Belden. I would assume you one, had to compare two, to three. Not it. All right. Mm, I'll help. Medic. All right. I, I just don't think Corrales, I'm, gonna thank you, I'm not Corrales. a researcher myself there, Lady I Bear. I appreciate it, Corrales. Yeah, All right, so with Corrales helping you. Mm -hmm. I literally can't offer you oh, anything. And that's advantage, right? Sorry. So no. again. And oh, that's better. Uh, 19? 19. Jeez. Not mm -hmm. bad. Uh, with that, oh, the life get, the first one. With, with that, you're going to get two pieces of lore that you find out. It's um, basically what you understand as far as uh, this is going to, and this is going to roughly take you a couple hours to scour over all of this. But the gist of it is, as far as the old kingdom was concerned, it wasn't democratically in, it, it ran as the modern day human kingdom is. This is more city states, kind of uh, you had provinces and the nobility that, ran, that ruled over these provinces when they took on a nobility name, it was based off of a geographical point in that country or in that area. It would be um, the family of uh, Stone Ridge. So you would have somebody with the name of, of uh, Khazar Stone Ridge. So Stone Ridge would function as the surname. Um, genealogy becomes very muddy this way. And it, it wasn't until later when there was an uprising in the kingdom and there was a, a warrior queen that took over where nobility, genealogy, and hit family histories were kept better track of because they kept these surnames from families and they didn't take on these these landmass names for lack of better words so it's you go back far enough and it's almost impossible to track genealogy you do have mitigast's um landmass name i was gonna ask a question yeah if Mitigast could like take off his armor, would he be able to assist in the in the in the researching? No more than what you've already got. Okay. And and pretty much with a 19, pretty much what you get is the information you seek is not here. Anything further, you're gonna have to go probably somewhere. to where his city was and look in their records. Um there are a couple options. One would be Yes, to go to the, the human capital of Phalios 
and check for genealogy and record <laughs> there. How do you spell that, Phileos? Uh, P H A L I O S, Phileos. Oh, we'd have to go there to figure out more? That's one option. There would be other options, but you would have to explore and ask the yeah, right, that people, would, the right uh, people. The capital, right? <laughs> that would definitely be the best bet for finding out more information. Uh, yeah. So I will say, as I'm watching, so that's a pretty high role, as I'm watching Tarouk do the researching, I am genuinely interested in <laughs> this large rock boulder of a man. <laughs> yeah, and he's getting into it too. He is Working through definitely... these books. And I can't help but ask, trying trying to be as polite as I possibly can, just kind of, where did you get the affinity for this? Well, um, I mean, being in a Goliath, I know it's, you know, typically, you know, we're seen as just big brutes, but growing up, I decided to educate myself and you know, my herd, my clan would travel from time to time and, you know, fierce hunters and I'd come across all types of people and races and, you know, I decided to, you know, seek help and learn to read and, you know, and I'm not the greatest at reading, no, and I still have a little trouble writing, but, you know... You know, I'm not all just, uh, you know, I'm not all just, you know, muscle and, you know, smash and bash. It appears you arm yourself in more way than one, and it's very impressive. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I will tell you the name of that, that uh, warrior queen that uh, was responsible for the uprising, because 19, you, you'd get this. Oh, uh, okay? you actually... You actually know this, uh, Vera would know this, as it's one of the uh, 12 cities in the East. It's uh, Calliope, C-A-L-I-O-P-E. She was a warrior queen that pretty much challenged the established human rule at the time, overthrew it, and established the kind of uh, diplomatic slash monarchy that stands in place right now. So if I read over his shoulder, would I see that? Would I see her name? Yeah, well, he, he's going to, yeah, I assume you're sharing this with everybody. So that was just, yeah, that's the last thing that you come across is that the records Calliope. and the, the, uh, the, what the information you need is before the time of this queen, Queen Calliope. Wow. Okay. And that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. And you said, okay, so Metagast would be before her as well, right? Yes. That, yeah, that's, that's the okay. point. Uh, Metagast time, that time frame. It's, he was in it's, there. It's before this um realignment of power in thrandia if i saw yeah if you when you say that to me it should be like calliope was a very striking person we owe her the east owes her a lot especially those of us who work to follow in some of her shadow she was mm. an impressive woman oh that had a city bro. named after her so you, you have to be just reading <laughs> this book i she does seem pretty impressive uh yeah a uh, female warrior in the history books i mean that's uh that's pretty amazing can't get any better than that we have oftentimes women have to arm ourselves in unconventional ways as well i'm sure you know about that it, it yeah. really is a triumph what she managed to do that's how i read it and it sounds prettier but that's all you can get and like I said, pretty much what you gather is the information. You're not going to find it here. There are other places in the world where it may be found. We have a time period to look. <clears throat> and I will say for anybody who like notices when he says uh, the capital, the name of the Eastern capital, just kind of like a visible uh, irky kind of look. Um, yes, that's it. Sorry, yes. This yeah, that's it as far as the information that you can glean from here. Uh, okay. Like I said, you you know, there are uh, people okay. that you can ask for further, you know, um, that maybe keep better records or more importantly, older records. Um, All right. But that's Thank the best that you got right now. And Mitigas pretty much spent most of the time over your shoulder just kind of soaking it up because all of this is news to him. 
he remembers the time before and now he's been thrown into a world he doesn't quite understand so he just is kind of nodding and you know just intently watching what you're doing just trying to catch up a little bit okay. well well lady v thank you for your assistance Corralos, thank you sir of course i appreciate it Tori, <coughs> not thank you uh Metagast, my friend, we found some information, but not exactly what I was looking for, but uh, the search continues, my friend. You would definitely have better luck in the capital of the East and the Milestones. If uh, were, were, the, were the Marble Milestones here when you all, like, did, were you acquainted with them before you went on your trip? No. No. Oh. Well, uh, that's where we'll be heading, actually. Uh, the city of Harit is one of the 12 milestones, one of the most, they're the most populated uh, cities in the East for humans. Uh, the capital there would probably have more of what you're looking for. They're a little bit more spanning with their records that they keep. Uh, you may have better luck there. I'm afraid Brian oh. is only recently getting into its prime, so not much for you here, I'm afraid. No, that's fine. Search continues. How's that sound, Metagas? Uh, I'm thankful for any help offered. I, I must say I'm thrown into a world where I'm still, you know, connecting the, the string. So we'll figure it out in time. All right. I'm ready to go if you guys are. So speaking of Brian being fairly recent in its history, would the would we be able to find any kind of a record of uh, the the Brotherhood's appearances or anything of that nature? You can certainly try. You would be that would be religion. Oh, yeah, you asked that. that. Are you just going to look in the religion section, or did you ask that? Um, I mean, I I could go ask one of the the nice people around they're gonna basically it does i mean you can ask for an attendee to help you it's 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 they're gonna direct you to the religion shit section can i can i roll for the religion you Go certainly can it. yeah and, see, uh, that, that i can ask, do see i will ask what you guys are looking for i'm gonna be like uh there's so and i'm gonna like pull her just kind of off like, to the side so not everyone can hear it so um We've had experiences uh -oh. with a. It's gone. What's there? A cult <coughs> that keeps uh, attacking oh. us and keeps popping up at random spots. <clears throat> and one of the spots that they showed up in was Brine about four years ago. So we're trying to find any kind of account of them being somewhere else, especially while we've been gone for the past four years. Because well. they just kind of appeared and then vanished. Well, we vanished. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. I can't offer you any assistance. Appreciate the help. Right. I'm ready to go. I dropped the first die. It landed under the table. It's gone. It belongs to the floor now. At All least right. till this is over. Has been seen. Floor die. Floor die. Yeah, it's gone. Floor die. She gone. It melted in the, oh. the floor lava. That's a nat 20. Woo! Woo! Point, it, point it down if you want, but there it is in all of its glory. Okay, it uh, this reminds me of a role that you did earlier in the campaign. That the the nat twenty is not going to immediately give you everything. It'll give you everything that this particular this place has. Yeah, this so place it's like, has. Hey, yeah, yeah. Good it's but you do get some interesting things here. Um, there is absolutely nothing on the Brotherhood of the Night Eye. Yeah. Um, there's also you get the idea of there's basic religions, uh, the the uh, uh, yeah the uh, typical pantheon, shall we call it? You 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 get all the information that you would ever want from uh, Cord or uh, Bahamut. The, the the typicals. You get the the re the religion texts that are offered here are the accepted religions of Brine. And looking specifically for dark cults, there's not a whole oh, lot of information I, for it. 
but you do come across a few things. Nothing, nothing per se that matches the <laughs> the patterns that you've seen with the Brotherhood. However, you do get some cult information on uh, a particular deity known as There's a Doom. And it is uh, the information that you get off it is a uh, the symbolism behind it is a spiral of decay known as uh, the dark God or uh, eternal darkness, the lost God, Lord of decay or the chained God. And you are uh, the, the more you read, you learn more about um, some of the history into this rather dark um, deity and the it, if you want i'll send you I'll, I'll send you a little bit of work i've got on this particular one but that's okay. what you find uh here so i'm going to explain it the has, sorry go no no go ahead go ahead finish go ahead. no yeah i was going to say that uh, you do have certain cults associated with there's a dune that have been recorded that the names are eerily similar to the brotherhood of the night eye no, uh, there, but one in particular that is definitely in service to Thera Zadun is called the Scarlet Brotherhood. Hmm. That's that's what catches your eye. Scarlet Brotherhood. You also see that when when um, concerning rituals, you see the use of black onyx gems often used in certain rituals, <laughs> and that it is rumored that there's a certain amount of them given out to. Uh, servant <laughs> that there's a doom. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain to Torin and I guess the rest of the group that uh, since what we're looking for is just kind of kind of niche and you know it's not like the whole city worships them so I mean right. they're not going to have that kind of information readily on hand they have all of this stuff about you know these other gods these mainstream gods but there's nothing about the cult we're looking for here. The last thing that you come across with a natural 20 is something called the Sabbath of Madness, but there is no information about this. It's only marked as a, as a, a holy day to worshipers of Thursday Doom. Upon which the holy Ozieth Osborne shall yeah. come down. And bite the head off the bat. And rocketh our faces off. Mm -hmm. So as Belden, after he explains that, uh i do kind of like discreetly want to just kind of just talk just to him sort of lower my voice and just uh just tell him sarah emissary i apologize if it's not my place to ask but have you been deployed dispatched to research this this cultish activity not really dispatched more more like a calling or or an interest of another party if you will a higher party Oh, I see. Oh, you're a holy man. I know I don't look at or act like it sometimes, but yeah, I am. Do I'm gonna give him kind of like a like a like a like a just us girls almost kind of look and just be like, <laughs> do any of us ever though? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> I'm done with the library. <clears throat> We're gonna hang out and research recipes for flapjacks, or are we out of here? <laughs> we out. Me? No, I'm I'm good. Yeah. Out. Uh, I did have a logistics question, just for something as we like went back. So how? Uh, I will leave it up to the group, considering how the delivery of me is now in the professionals' hands. Again, traveling. Uh, not in not grand but in you know well-established means is outside of my forte how logistically are we going to be traveling do we need to purchase a carriage or horses or a cart oh man she got it right uh, right in, right in the fields man yeah freaking quark right in the fields what what do you mean the fields right in the fields off in the distance you swear you hear the braying of a jack of a uh, donkey oh, did I just oh, oh don't do that to <laughs> 
Oh, come on. The mournful we... braying of a donkey. Can we follow the mournful brain, can we? <laughs> Quark? No. <laughs> That's all in head. Quark? <laughs> is Quark? Quark, is that you? We guys, I really miss our ass lady. Very yes. recent, very, very recently to us, at least, uh, <clears throat> lost possession of our noble steed and cart. <laughs> noble steed. So uh, it's, uh, it was noble. Holly it was noble. Noble. The wound is still tender for some in the party. I'm so sorry. Uh, how much does like a basic cart and a horse cost? Well, we have horses in the, at the light, but how much yeah. does like like a cart cost? That is an excellent question. <laughs> While you're at it, look up the HP. I feel like we'll need that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you guys will. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Torrid's gonna wake up drunk and fight the cart. Watch. <laughs> I mean, is there a cart that can literally that can hold all of us on it, <clears throat> or would the weight support so the all carriage of us? itself? <clears throat> excuse me, the carriage itself will only cost you a hundred gold. Okay. And maybe it would go a little bit up if you want to, you know. You know, pimp your ride a little bit. You know, you want to make it a little better. I would assume the whole point of me hiring them is to not pimp the ride because that's what gets Yo, you robbed. I'm Taruk, and this is Pimp Your Ride, Dungeons and Dragons edition. Pimp your car. <laughs> yeah. well, you guys, I mean, it, with the the light only has like carriages, right? They don't have anything more innocuous. Yeah, no, it's basically for them and the transportation of their clients and, and their. Uh, Right. They're courtesans. Uh, it's going to be very extravagant looking carriages. Um, but uh, take one and we could get... go to a basic livery. And for the uh, two draft horses would cost you 50 gold each and 100 gold for a modest carriage. We can do something like open too, so that all of us can like fit in it. You know what I mean? So that Tariq yeah. can fit in it. Um, it's up to you guys. You're I looking mean, at 200 gold for just a simple carriage for means of travel. For all of us, mm, like an open yeah. kind of cart carriage kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. Can I expense it to delight since it's for travel? I mean, you could go uh, talk to the madam if you wish and try to procure you some transportation. <laughs> I'll get it. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm not going to ask you guys to front the bill for that because, you know, you're transporting me. I mean, you're not, you wouldn't make. Let's see. Let's say we're going to be gone for like, I don't think you guys would really make up the cost of that and get paid enough of a net amount for it to be worth it. So I wouldn't expect you guys to front the bill for the, tra for the actual like transportation thing. So it's up to you guys. If you guys all just want to take horses, we could do that. If you guys want to take one of the big expensive carriages and you just got, you just have to defend it, we can do that too. Or if you guys want to get like a cart, we can get a cart. Honestly, like I was gonna see if maybe there was like maybe a carriage or something like maybe kind of kind of out of repair. I mean, one that's not being used. That way, we c I can try to fix it up. Won't cost us any like won't cost any m extra money or anything. Uh, it's up to you guys. I mean, I can I can buy us a cart. I don't mind. It's just up to you guys what you want it to be. I mean, I'm. Yeah, I have no opposition cool. to. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. If we have to try to fix up a loner, then one so that'll be it. fit us but doesn't state rob me on the side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. Protection is your guys' bag. I'm just the coin purse here because I'm not going to make you guys pay for the transportation to get me where I need to go. Yeah, the corn sack. The corn sack. I'm not the corn sack. I'm the coin the purse. Sack. Code name coin purse. <laughs> wow. Um. But um no all I'm right trying to think like how let's go get the cart and the horse so you can all ride on it and i'll walk behind it it's fine let's go you could ride the, you could ride the horse no. yeah you could well, no, i'm hoping we could get something big enough that Tarun could fit in it too you know what i mean absolutely yeah Tarun, no yeah, more walking yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna make you walk the whole way to Hari. That that'd be what kind of boss would I be? That would be horrible. I wouldn't do that to you. You'd be a, yeah, you'd be like Torin. Torin's Wait mean. He wouldn't let me on the last cart. I didn't fit either. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, I don't know what I, I can, can. I even ride? I can't ride. Like we couldn't even take individual horses. I I don't think I can even ride a horse. Um, 
Uh, I've, I've, uh, I I've literally, so. I've literally taken a carriage everywhere in my entire yeah. life. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you would be able to operate. I'm a dwarf. We don't really horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't cook, I don't hunt, I don't clean, I don't horse. <laughs> I mean, I can cook. Elder, Elder Daruks. Yes, he does. Um, All right. I say. Yeah, I will go. start by asking the madman if there's any more innocuous means of travel that we can already make use of and then go from there. Sounds like a plan. That, yeah. that works. Maybe she knows someone or there's someone who delivers our shit that we could like, our stuff that we could like buy their cart from or, or even loan or just borrow. Their cart. Yeah. We can figure something out, something that's a little yeah. bit more expedient and a little, because I mean, like, let's be real. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, you guys could probably just have it, honestly, consider it part of the deal, but right. uh, consider consider the cart, the down payment, and then payment upon safe delivery of the package back home. All right, guys, ready? Cart okay. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Two word, cart insurance. <laughs> One gigabyte. Evil in my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say sharpshooter. <laughs> Uh, with all the carriage insurance we need <laughs> uh, so yeah I guess we'll head back to the I mean like it's probably lunchtime we can probably head back to the light to get something to eat yeah it's later lunch. than that you're in the evening hours you're getting oh, sure. yeah I mean you got this is still the day before I mean or the episode before it's still the same day you guys have right. gotten to the night hours and that was a couple hours of research so you're like in that five to six in the evening now, is there anything else to do in the city, guys, before we set out? Is that what we're doing this? Um, yeah, like, let's see. Let's see what the uh, um, lady there talk with the madam, see what she has. And that way, if we do need to kind of make arrangements, we can do that in the morning hours because it's okay. going to probably and be too late. While you talk to her, we can get some food because I'm starving. Absolutely. I'm sure I'm sure they're they're probably already starting up dinner back back home. Very well. Bounded. Um, Tori, my friends, a drinking contest. If you all would I rather mean, sneak it in your chambers or in a shared chamber, you don't have to join the rest of the of the group for for the meal if you don't want to. I honestly didn't catch any of that like my internet broke up so bad. Oh, I was just saying that if if uh it's I, I kind of like sly on the sly, kind of telling the teal, just sort of if you would rather take a quiet meal in a chamber or in your quarters, that's always an opportunity. That's always an option. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I feel like over the course of the day, I've gotten to know them a little better, and I'm just like, uh, maybe, maybe the full evening where supper time isn't something they want to do every night. <laughs> I I think that sounds quite. Now, if there's Perfect. clients at the if there's clients at the brothel though that we're like hosting, I mean, it's sort of like I have I kind of have to go. It's sort of like the nightly thing to do with the guests. Right. But you all don't have to attend the banquet dinner if you don't want to. You could take a meal in your chambers if you prefer. Good. So we're back at the the. Unless brothel. Philomena wants you at yeah. dinner, in which case I can't do anything to stop her. <laughs> no, she she there's no. Once she has, she definitely doesn't once she want has an idea. There, so. <laughs> what? Once she has something in her mind, it's you can never change it. <laughs> Don't I know it? I've been working for the yeah. woman for five years, <laughs> and and she and she has been a blessing. But yes, if she puts her mind to something, there's no changing it. Nope. <laughs> As if we're talking on the way back to the light. Yes. Right. But so does the party have a plan? Yes. 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 All right. Drinking contest. Corallos. <laughs> Door so, well, on the way on the way back so we're, we're just we're just walking right mm -hmm. yeah so i guess i'm just trying to kind of scribble on a on a on a paper with a with a with my little wheel while we're walking try not to die mm -hmm. as i do it belden do you do you want some assistance my friend no I, I just just make sure i don't hit anything i'm kind of kind of lowly around i put my hand on belden's shoulder as he's yeah, as he's guided bent. Him away yep i guide him near a near a, a, a pile of horse manure you kind of steer him away from there we it, go kinda, you know ah, yeah but i'm, I'm staring him. he nearly walks up to a horse trough and goes forward in it you just kind of steer him away from it and, <laughs> yep. yeah i got your back belden in your front apparently appreciate it every oh, every, every, every so much. often belden you feel two hands get you by the shoulders and just yep. direct you in a direction <laughs> <laughs> Point no, you. Can, this way belden can i ask what you're writing nope okay 
Fair enough. <sighs> so, let me ask you guys, how like, how do you feel being, like, being back, like, being back in Brian? Like, does it still feel like Hocus Pocus to you, or is it just, like, whatever? Well, well, really out of place. Really, really out of place. <sighs> what about what about you guys? What about the rest of you guys? What you, what's... I, I definitely have uh, gotten a warmer welcome since I've been back. I was kind of, you know, a nobody when I left, and now we're friends with you know the high rollers so it's uh strange very strange to jump up from you know social class nobody so to, to a somebody all real quick yeah Tor or taruk taruk yeah Big sorry that you sorry, okay Nat. you okay yeah i mean yeah um, um, I mean, we were gone for, I mean, four years, which it was only like, what, 10 minutes, really, for us. And, right. You know, we've. The day at the most. <sighs> everything has changed drastically. So much. I know. And, you know, it's, and, it still rattles my brain what happened in there, and, you know. And I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm sorry to you guys for All that. Right. Don't worry about it, bro. Hey, Taruk, don't, don't be sorry. I it's mean, okay. it, well, past <laughs> slash future slash whatever now, but yeah, we're a little troubled up. The yeah, important but... thing is though, we're. The important thing is though, we somehow. I still can't figure it out how we got through it together. We're still gonna get through it together, and I, I, I know, but I just keep thinking, like, what if that happened uh, then here? We'll kick your butt again. I know, but <laughs> it's, it's. What if this time it goes, it goes wrong? Uh, Remember that I sleep spell I cast? What you're talking about? <laughs> Listen, Dirk, I think what maybe we it, need to do a little research on your ailment too besides Metagas and maybe we can find something in the very very larger book um, repository wherever we're going uh, I just, Harit? uh would Harit oh. have a large library how big is Harit it's bigger than Brian but it's yeah it's definitely bigger than Brian I mean you would assume that they may have some records now now what you're talking about as far as Tarut's issue you're going to be looking at more local legends and folklore for uh -huh. Or um, tales of people who suffered of the same the same fate as it'd be like folklore, really. Then at that yeah. point, Oof. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I just uh, you know, and uh, again, like you know, what if it just went wrong and I tore up the town? I mean, just uh, I don't know. It's just. I can't I I need to go have a drink. I'm I'm, down. I'm just gonna have a drink. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna ask anything, but uh definitely sort of a uh kind of <laughs> look. <sighs> not my business. We'll, we'll let's talk it about it later. My business. Later. That's gonna be a later thing, lady there. This is a metagas thing all over. Except less armor, more hair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I make a roll to try to as assume what they're talking um, about? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'd say insight check. Okay. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Nice. And I have no modifier to that, so it's just a straight nat 20. Yeah, um... You, you kind of put one and one together. They you keep mentioning a problem similar to Mitagas, except a lot of hair. And he's worried about losing control over it. You, you kind of put one and one together and figure it's a lycanthropy of some sort. Question. 
Yeah. Is that a curse? Would I know if that's a curse? That's a very good question. <laughs> and I, I, I know what I told you before, and I know what I've told him, but I'm going to do it completely as written here. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, so it I, you is technically considered a curse. No way. <laughs> really? Wow. I learned something new today. I'm not, okay. I'm not, I mean, like, I'm, oh. I believe in previous episodes, I considered it a disease, which it is. Okay. Well, but that's as still, written, it is a curse. I can still fix that, even if it's just a disease. Yeah, I know. Um, Hell. Well, I'm not going to say, yeah. No, I'm not going to say anything. But it is a curse. See, I'm going to see Tarun. It is a curse. Racked with guilt. And, and and fear and I will just ask him sort of solemnly like are, are you afflicted with some madness or just very like quietly just to Taruk sort of like kind of walk up to him and just be like your affliction is the curse or... hmm. that was mine uh, hmm. Are you undead too? No Metagas. No Metagas. No Sir Metagas. Uh, oh. All right. No Metagas. Like you, I have a problem. I was. Damn it. Mm. I don't want to talk about no. this. Book. You don't have to. Don't have to tell me anything, sir. I just. I. It's not. That it's I just became what I hate. Hmm. Hmm. I that's that's a more common affliction than you would think. And I say that just to Taruk. Uh, you know what? Damn it! Damn it! Oh. Oh. It's okay, buddy. I think we need to go get him that drink. Yeah, let's get you back. You are getting lights. very close to the uh, light unless you Rook, take a detour toward the nearest pub. <laughs> Rook, let's get that drink. We'll talk about it later, bro. Trust me. So, uh, yeah, right. so, so I'm assuming you guys just heard his outburst. They didn't hear what I said. I mean, I mean, I you said that you were trying to whisper, and I assume that a very loud damn it is heard by everybody within an earshot. Okay, okay, so that's what happened. All right, so um, I will... Uh, Unless anybody's trying to hear what Ver said, which I'll make your roll for. I'm okay. No, I will ask good. Taruk, um, not super quietly or anything, just sort of just to him, be, uh, have, have you ever heard of the priestesses of Arania? What was that, V? I'm sorry. I would, I would ask him, uh, have you ever heard of the priestesses of Arania? Roll history check if you want. Seventeen. God damn. Yeah. Go ahead, tell him. Like he, he already knows? Yeah, he basically already knows. Uh, okay, so you know that they are a uh, sacred order of um so you know that arania is the goddess of courtship love and the carnal side of love and that they are in the east especially in the capital but mostly in the milestones in the east of the continent they are a uh, there's i would say like one temple per city at least one moderate size to large temple uh they're a, basically an order of sacred prostitute priestesses in the east i have heard of them before i particularly study them but i have heard why do you mention them <laughs> i'm gonna kind of give him a, just a look and just sort of be like uh my my, my name is veronese aranya <laughs> if coming from a relative stranger 
I'm not trying to force you to impart anything you don't wish, but should this become relevant again, perhaps we'll talk. And you have heard of, I guess if you know every, everything, you, you would have heard of the ability of the priestesses being able to ch channel the goddess to do healing, curing, and divination. I'll say with a 17, he didn't know that part, but. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant everything. Nah, but that's okay. Are you going to, I mean, I'm assuming you're relaying all that. Well, I'm sort of implying that I'd be able to help him. So I'm sure he would be able to figure that out. Yeah. He's, he's a smart lad. He's a smart brick. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a, yeah. Yeah. So you could, you can assume that with me telling you this, there's some sort of, should this become relevant to me? We may, this, this may be something we may discuss later. I appreciate that, V, but let's hope that it never becomes relevant. And I just storm off towards the pub. Oh, towards the right. pub or towards the light? I think he said the, the nearest pub. Pub, so. okay. I will give Torin and Belden a look, or I'll, get, I'll give them a look and just go, uh, should we be concerned? You guys go. So he I'll, went to the pub. I'll follow and him. Uh, you, guys, you got him? You okay. guys just go. I got this. Okay. All right, so Torin goes, af Torin goes after Taruk, and the rest of you head towards the line. Okay. Uh, um, you know what? I feel like... Uh, man, all right, never mind. You already, you already said where you'd all go. So I feel like he might need help, maybe, possibly. Are you a psychiatrist as well? I mean, I dabble. You see who I'm traveling with, right? <laughs> Takes one to you, know one. You know what line of work? Yeah, I'm, I, right? I would have liked to go on with them too. Is that is that okay? Yeah, if you want to follow yeah. after Torin, okay. yeah. yeah. You guys are split off. All right, that works. So uh, Torin uh, Belden joins you as you guys trail after Taruk towards the pub, and there, Nat and Corralos, you are heading towards the light. So, okay. Yes. All right, we're gonna go with the uh, the light crew first, and I'll uh, I'll uh, bounce over to you guys in a moment. So uh, you make your way back to the luxurious light, very much as you saw the day before. Not not a bit not a bit less elegant than the night before. It's uh, mm. early the early hours of the night, and uh, you get roughly around seven o'clock by now from just from walking through town and getting there. So. Uh, you uh, find yourself back to the luxurious light. Hmm. You're greeted by the <laughs> servants and porters. <clears throat> uh, different group than you saw the night before, but uh, anything that is required of you is 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 offered. Uh, I'm going to go wow. have a bath and do the little wind down evening routine, and then I'm going to meet up with Philomena later. That's my plan. Okay. okay. Uh, Very offer to the two of them. Uh, you know, again, dinner in the dinner in the in the room in the in the dining room, however you prefer. And uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of my plan. Talk to Philomena after my evening routine. Okay, Nat. I think I'm actually going to. I know I considered um, dinner in my room, but the idea of dressing up again is kind of just seems, seems, seems a little bit like fun. So I think Can I'm I, going to. Uh, I inside her to see if he's gonna. He's got the bug. Uh, uh oh. Okay. So I think okay. I will be um, attending dinner down in the main area tonight. I got a 17 for an inside check. Okay, where were you trying to insight? I want to insight if I can tell if she's like, she's sort of torn, you know, like go to her room, <laughs> go to the baths with me. Uh, I'll say that you haven't split off just yet. Are you offering? I did, yeah. So, I mean, okay. when I offered, I was assume... doing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm awful. No, you're <laughs> it's only, you know, dinner time. I know. Yeah, I offered, but I'll, I'll do like another offer. I'll be like, uh, same offer stands as the night prior, Miss Lady Nateel. Uh, well, anything of mine is of use to you. I, it sounds, I, I'm, I'm in. 
I think it'd be fun. Fun. <laughs> Girls night. Girls night. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's happening. This is the first campaign I've ever been in with like, not another chick, but like another chick. <laughs> not gonna lie. You're like the second week. <laughs> There's another one? There's two now. Holy Man, crap. the only gal I played with, I wasn't a girly character. I wasn't me. I was like, a, I, was, I wasn't a girly character. I was a warlock. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... The ladies separate Corralos for to have a little girl girl time. Uh, what, what do you do? Corralos is like, damn it, I should have went with them and drank. Right. Right. I would love to take a meal back to my room. I got some shocking info today, so I just want to go back and think about that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So you go back to your room to... Uh, Take your own little solitude. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a little solitude. And um, what we're gonna we're gonna uh, cue the montage of the girls. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pillow fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you need a ninety? I have a ninety. <laughs> <laughs> and right there, the makeup up. hands to the guys at the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, omnipotence. Before I walk into the bar, like I want to let them two go on ahead of me real quick, just you know, get ahead of me, and I want to call Mister Kitty out and have him deliver my letter for me. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So where do you want me to take this? You, you know, go, go do, go ahead. I don't know. I've never met this person. <sighs> you were there. You were, you were right there. What are you talking about? You met this person. Mm. Oh, the, with the the, the 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 elven girl at the yeah. Day? All right, fine. And then you have the night off. Do whatever you want. Well, within reason. Don't break anything. <laughs> Don't kill anybody. All right, pick one. <laughs> Don't, Don't kill, kill anybody. anybody. Okay, cool. Give me the letter. I I give Mr. Kitty the letter. Yeah, he mouths it, takes off, and then I go and I enter the bar at that point. All right. Uh, Taruk, Torn, and Belden, as you enter the nearest pub to you, which was the Gilded Caress. Um, you, uh, so, somewhat busy. Uh, this, uh, not as big as the Albright Ale House. A little smaller than that, but uh, certainly busy. Challenge and exception. certain, you know, certainly the business is doing a whole lot better than the Albright right now. Um, but uh, there's. Worse. There's uh, seats in the back if you so choose. I'm, I'm going to send uh, those two to go to go have a seat. Is there a table they can go sit at, or is it just like chairs, yeah, whatever? whatever. Uh, you pretty much you you got a corner booth if you want it. Yeah, I'm going to go up nice. to the barkeep and uh, how much is well how how much is ale? What are we looking at for ale here in your fine uh, establishment? We, yeah, uh, what you see is a, a gnome server. A uh, female gnome server who's just uh, wiping down some glasses, and she goes, uh, no, one gold for a pint." One gold for a pint. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's gonna. Let's see. There's three of us. Uh, how much do I have left on my person? That's not does not belong to everybody else. Cool. Um, I'm gonna give her three gold to start off and ask for three pints. All right, I got you. You're the ones in the corner, right? We're the ones in the corner. Okay, I'll be and with you shortly. You might want to just go ahead and open up a tab too while you're at it. No problem. Yeah. I walk back with 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 the ale. There you go, <laughs> gentlemen. As uh, Belden returns with the first rounds of the night. Loops on, boys. Just clunk, clunk, clunk. Toast to Taruk. Toast. The haired one. All right, Rook. What's on your mind? You already know it's a word. You already know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to chug this ale. Well, get up. Shut up. Listen, you big, ugly lovable bastard 
<laughs> we handled your outbreak the first time. It's if if it even does happen again, because you know we kind of killed the mimic. If you don't forget, well, I killed the, the, the mimic. Shut up, Tori. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> killed the mimic. Um, it's not gonna happen again, cause he's there's no one around to manipulate you. All right, we're not getting sucked into some weird you know alternate mirror dimension how do you know that torn for sure we never thought that would happen to us last time four years ago or well four minutes next ago time we're whatever. not gonna trust a naked elf standing in the middle of the room. we're not yeah, gonna that trust was a collective our bad on that one we're also not gonna trust uh some random dwarf peddling booze out the back of a giant cart that one was me. I'll, I'll take that one. Oh, I was 100%. I mean, don't, don't get it twisted. I mean, do you think we can trust V? She seems pretty trustworthy so far. Listen. And for people in my profession, the fact she even knows what I do, I mean, yeah, I put, I put a little trust there. She might not like me much, but the madam has probably the best head on her shoulders that I've ever seen. If she trusts V, she is pretty hot. Crazy. Some if granny she... action to root. Nice. <laughs> Back to the luxurious yeah. life. <laughs> the madam just sneezes for no reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Can't shut. laughs> Neither. At least there's no lying bitch woman, line. By the way. <laughs> One. But if she trusts V, then I trust V. Yeah, I mean, V doesn't seem so bad. No. She's knowledgeable. She's cool. Got money. Easy on the eyes. She's all right by me. You guys are a little looking a little empty there. Want another one? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Barnob, another round. Coming up. I it, also it take a few moments if he comes up. I. Also, and she's not miss, been good, but she's pretty good. I miss Finn and Quark. I miss our ass. <laughs> I miss our ass too. And Finn. Yeah. This is pretty good. That's good stuff. Um, what do you say for old time's sakes? Okay, go ahead. Finish. <laughs> go ahead, Tim. No, no, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say for you three, go ahead and roll me perception checks. All right. Mm. That's terrible. 14. Uh, 14. That's a six. Six. Come on, don't break my heart right 19. now. 19. 19 definitely does it. Oh, um, God. <laughs> uh, Belden, you over here, just uh, some of the uh, louder conversations. And, and there's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of, you know, background ambient noise. But you do overhear a very familiar voice. Listen, I don't care. I really don't. I make my gold my way. You make your gold your way. You have no right to criticize me on how I do business, mate. Just kind of look over. <laughs> oh, my. Belden, what you looking at? What you looking at, Belden? I, I think I just heard Sea Captain. <laughs> you hear a, a voice coming back. All I'm saying is that uh, there's a way to conduct business, sir. Uh, uh, what and, uh, is it? You you do uh, uh yeah, Belden. You do recognize one of the the uh, gentlemen speaking. It is Renard Drake. The, freaking, <laughs> the, the captain, yeah, that's the, uh, ship. the captain, yeah, like, yeah. Guys, you guys, the, guys the captain's over there. The captain, the captain's oh, over yeah. there. A I remember when we left him. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. Time right. out. We left the captain soaked in his own piss last time. He got yes, over yes. it. I'm going. Got over it when he woke up. up. I don't think uh, I grab I, I grab Torin's mug of ale. Wait and a minute. I go over to him and I put my hand on his shoulder. Is there a problem here, Captain? <laughs> and you just hear this Goliath hand hits him on the shoulder. Oh, Mikey, mate. And he looks up at you. Saruk. 
And he just <laughs> immediately throws a hand out there and goes, Go sit down here, you bastard. Come here. Captain. Take a look. Get up and join the captain at their table. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. Come on. I, I, I run over and I door? grab my cup back from Taru. Give me that. Rude. Rude. I signal to the barkeep for yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she, damn drink. Easily doing the math in her head, she she brings up and brings another round for everybody at the table. And you see uh, Renard Drake in all his splendor and glory. You see, <laughs> very much as you remember him four years ago with the oh. ponytail pulled back, with the, uh, oh the sash around his head, the uh, the Spaniard type uh, mustache, and the little soul patch down here. Um, a, a little a little salt to the pepper, but pretty much as you as you remember. And um, he is very, very warm and greeting to to the three of you. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in years. Okay. Yeah, four days. Oh, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, four, four years now, Captain? Gosh, has it been so long? Gosh, tell yeah, me what you've been up to. Oh, excuse me, I'm being rude. Uh, this is my associate here. This is Captain Benjamin Ramsey. And you see this guy, um, human, a very huge hat with a feather almost the, si <laughs> the size of uh, Torrin's head that's coming off of it. Uh, golden uh, colors sashed. You see a, uh, a uh, cutlass to it at his side. And uh, <laughs> once again, uh, just a pencil thin kind of mustache that kind of curls up just a little bit. And uh, that's a pleasure. Yeah, Captain Benjamin Ramsey. I assume you're friends of uh, Renard here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he Almost totally definitely. sounds like what's her face from the Wild West. He does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he does. Are we going to next? <laughs> right, well, if I go, are we going to Corrales after this? Are you? No, I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna go step aside for just a sec, go to the restroom. So if we go to, you're not going back to me in detail anytime soon. No, right? no, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, be a couple minutes. But um, yeah, uh, he introduces. Hey, this is another uh, merchant sailor such as myself. Oh, uh, Captain Ramsey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. Yes, yes, it's you, a pleasure. Hey, that is a, a, a that's a nice mustache. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> that's a nice mustache and a a big hat. Any mustache, it, you know, it's just, it's amazing. It's a bit it's, grandiose, I must admit, so, but uh, it, yeah, it goes for yeah. my personality. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't yes. even, man. It works the fourth wall. I just keep picturing the Wild West. Just keep picturing that guy, man. This is him. The Wild Wild West. This, he talks, and I don't picture the big hat. I picture the wheelchair with the shotgun. The That's what I picture. Did you see a wheel, a wheelchair with a shotgun? Yeah, the shot. Yeah, the armrest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good God. Thank you, God. I don't have one of those in my nursing home. Yeah. So <laughs> since we're well, breaking the fourth wall, yeah. all I can think is Will Turner with his big hat at the end of Pirates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the actual like, only pirates movie I've ever seen. Oh Captain Captain Ramsey. Oh my goodness. You man. you are glorious, my friend. Way better than Torin over here. Wait a minute. Just, Wait a minute. Uh, Thank you anyway, for the anyway. that's, uh, and for that, yes. let me get you next round. And he, he sure, puts a yes. on him. <laughs> he goes, he actually, no, 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 all you. not you, Torin, me, me, yeah. me, Torin. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you, the, don't let me be rude. And he kind of puts down three golden days for rounds for yes. everybody. And uh, yes, well, so uh, Captain uh, Renard, uh, I believe the last time I saw you, you were face down. On the table. <laughs> no, he was awake. He was just hung over as all hell. You'll forgive me if my memory doesn't serve me completely of that night's festivities. <laughs> well, as much Someone as you drank, I'm surprised me, you forgot. Someone told me that Lady Leliana died the morning after. Mm. Yeah. Morning mm. after is kind of a strong word. Almost yeah, she, immediately following you passing out. Uh, I think we, you misunderstand. They told me the morning after. <laughs> I was uh, not much uh, in a condition. Yeah, you were, yeah, no, you were. <laughs> You're pretty out of it. 
Yeah, yeah. you're God. Yeah, yeah. We uh yeah. we chased down the guy who did it. Um, his yes. name Dathan Myers. Remember him, Dathan, her manager. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Let me let me ask you a question, and I I single over for more more rounds. Oh um, yeah, yeah. The alcohol. Um, um, we found out Dathan uh, was part of this this cult, and then I kind of just fast forward a little bit. We kind of just sure, start sure. telling him yeah, about so it. So you're everything. just catching him up on some of the things. You yeah, guys we're just catching everything up. Like I just yeah. go into all everything we've been through. Right. Um, and uh, you know so. Do you after do you know anything about the night eye? Dathan, do you know this, you know, why we were sent here and uh roll persuasion. Oh ask him about an ass named Quark too, I read. I bet you Quark. Um can I uh can I feed him alcohol while I'm, you know, while I'm telling him this? So, that's know, what's happening. Yeah. All right, no, I'm all not right. giving you an advantage, but you can roll a persuasion yeah. check. Uh, <laughs> shit. Damn it. That's a nine. Nine. Oh, all right. Um, He does a dish you off because uh, because you are a friend. He goes, ah, the Brotherhood of the Night Eye. I don't know anything in particular. You must understand, though, that I do do business with people, and sometimes I don't bother to uh, uh, keep uh, th- the name of my clients are not always known to me. You guys are being uh, a little cavalier about mentioning... Never mind. Mm-hmm. Not gonna but, um, you're not there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. It's uh, what about... Uh, not so more. much in name, but what about... Um... <clears throat> A weird, like, red eye on anyone's hand or anything like that. Red eye. Yeah. Mm. It's creepy. Sometimes it moves. It's real weird. (coughs) You must understand, mate. I I might have seen something. I might have heard something. A man in my business, uh, I deal in goods. Information is goods, mate. Can I inside him? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's trash. Damn it. I'm going to roll uh, inside as well. That's a go nine. Ahead. I got a nine. All right. Oh, I, I get I Can I, can I, like, can I just talk to, like, whisper to Ruga, I guess? Be like, I, I think he wants money for info, dude. That's, that's... I know. I, I know. I got it. I got it. All right, Belden. All right. What'd you yeah. get, Torin? <laughs> Three. Nice. Sorry. Yeah. All right. All right, you slippery, Drake, my friend. All right, my friend, you're, you know, you're a business. So, how about this? How about we play a drinking game? <laughs> oh, you got you see his oh. lips curl into a, a Grinch-like smile. See the pants oh. out. I'm and listening. I'll also lay. Ten gold of Torin's money. Wait a minute. <laughs> Torin, <laughs> shut up, Torin. Yeah. Ten gold of Torin's money. <laughs> well, calm down. If you beat me in a drinking contest, uh-huh. when you decide to wake up, we'll call it tomorrow before we venture out, you give us all the information you've got. Sound fair? And what do I get if I win, mate? Mm, what do you, you want? Get, you get some very, very choice information if you win. What do I get if I win? Belgian. What does he how get? About, uh, what is- how about six bottles of some fine dwarven ale that you can't really <laughs> find on the surface? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, right, yes. Belgian, you <laughs> roll me persuasion with advantage. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I, first one is a 16. Uh-huh. Second one. Oh, the second one's an 8. So it was 16. What kind of dwarven ale you got, mate? 
it's a fine dwarven ale. It's silky smooth. It just rolls down your throat, parches your yes. thirst. Yes, it does. There's nothing it like it on the surface. It I is guarantee a tasty you. tonic to tantalize the taste buds. That didn't work out so well for you the first time, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. There you go, young man. What's it called? Uh, you wouldn't be trying to put one over on me, would you? No, no, no not no. at all. No, 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 not us. Ramsey has stayed dead quiet during this whole transaction. He does not seem to be interested in interfering, just merely to watch. The question was posed to you. What's the name of it? The name of it? Oh, it's uh, Anion Ale. Only a deception. <laughs> the hell for deception? Okay. <laughs> 15. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, Master Dwarf, you got a deal, mate. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Drinking yes. contest. Is this just between yeah, you and me, Saru? Just the yes. two of you. One on one. One <laughs> on one. All right. So nice. let's go over it again. If we win, we get the information. If you win, you get our supply of ale and 10 gold. You know what? Fifteen gold from Tori. How about how about this? Would he be re- willing to write it down? I mean, if he wins, he could just destroy it, and if he loses, we can walk off with it, and we don't have to see him in the morning. Would he be willing to do that? Them's a lot of rules just for a simple drinking game, mate. I say we stick to the original plan. Fair enough, Captain. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, off to the side, Torin. Uh, Ramsey kind of leans towards you, which it's very noticeable. This hat just kind of <laughs> tilted. There's away. no subtlety with the hat. The, the, yeah, the, the, the feather's kind of dangling in your face a little bit. He goes, 15 gold on uh, Renard. And he just kind of comes back. And he puts the 15 gold on the table kind of near you, Torin. <laughs> Tor, come on. God. Come on, Tor. Building. I'll, I'll back to Taru- Man, I got to lend you money too. Are you serious? Yeah. You I know, right? So wait, hold because on. Because so, Taruk's so... betting money that I wait, don't have. Wait, that means that Taruk will owe me. Uh, Taruk Tor- will owe me. You owe me a bill. <laughs> yeah. Torn will owe you. It's fine. I'm not going to lose, guys. Come on. No, that's fine. On. Um, I'll, I'll put the 15. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. freaking hedge his bet. All right. All right. Uh, Sir, go ahead and roll me. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and roll me con save on this first down, uh, this first right. time around. And uh, yeah, the gnome uh, te- uh, keeper here is also taking a little interest in the competition as you get clunk, 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 clunk. You're getting uh, pints lined up on the table. All Oops. right. All right, everyone, gather around, gather around. Go oh, around and watch this feast, uh, baby. Uh, All right, so that first roll, that was 11 plus 3, 14. 14. Renard rolling a 16. You both pass for this one. So you both down your, fir- your first pint. His his cup hits just before yours. Man, this is making me thirsty. Oh, he got a little faster, I see. Yeah, man. All right. What's wrong? You didn't come a teetotal in the last four years, have you? Ooh, ooh. Uh, just, just a warm up. Just a warm up. Taruk, he said you ain't got no nipples. All right. Yeah, just a warm up. Number two. And he grabs and <laughs> he's already shotgunning it. Go ahead and roll con save. 16. 16. He rolls a 17. So you both finish <laughs> right at the same time. He's still locked. Eyes locked with you. Eh, that's more like it, mate. Ooh. Again. I was gonna torrent. Go. Like, I can't wait for you to owe me money, Torrent. Yo. Oh, Why are you gonna that's let a him, five? A him five? Oh money. no! And he's got a thirteen. He he powers through it. 
Tarouk, you starting to, you're feeling that taste in the back of your mouth. You're, you, go ahead. Come on, Tarouk. Uh, after you three got Tarouk, this. Got rally, through, Tarouk. Rally. Through, but, uh, oh, man. There's this weird taste in the back of your mouth that don't taste good. Roll me I got one. this. Let's go. Let's go. And that is... <laughs> Nine. Nine. All right. And with a three... <laughs> that's his first fail. You see, now this time, Renard is starting to... God, that, I remember that my first one's going beer. down a little slower. You're okay. Come on. All right. Come on, we're not Come on, Taru. Let's see what you got. All right. Here uh, we go. One more. And that's, one more. Uh, that's a 14. Got him on the road. Three. And with a natural 20, Renard gets his second win. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Down. And he's waiting for you as you're finishing yours. You're both oh, still good. Man. One more. Man, they give us you All guys right. a ailing. Here we go. Uh, night, come on, Taru. That's an eight. Oh, that's uh, your third fail. And with uh, an 18, Renard finishes. Bam. And uh Taruk, you gotta stop, man. You're starting to feel a little starting to feel yeah. it. And you starting to feel <laughs> that. That that guttural feeling, and you immediately have to excuse yourself. Yeah, and find, find I, the nearest barrel. I, I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> and I just a, I'm Chuck. <laughs> this, is not, this is the classy bar too. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. Oh, uh, uh, that was diet beer. Who gave me diet ale? Might be a bad beer, but you couldn't hold it down, could you, sir? Uh, uh, I believe, what was uh, the bet, gents? Was that 15 gold, I believe? Uh, here's your yeah. 15 gold, sir. Uh, thank well, you, earned. Sir. well earned. Well hmm. earned. <laughs> your, your friend seems to be uh, uh, nursing the after effects of that ale. Yep. He's out of practice clearly Poor so your interest in the um brotherhood was that what i heard yes it's a dangerous thing to be looking into mm. so i hear uh, it's only dangerous when they keep popping up everywhere you go Indeed. Might interest you to know that I've seen the night eye on a sail or two. Oh. How much is your information going to cost? The fact that they're working on the seas, nothing. Anything beyond that might be a little more. Just would interest you to know that they have uh, endeavors both foreign and domestic, as it were. Hmm. I think the room's kind of spinning a little bit. You'll be yeah. fine, Captain. I, Calm down. I, I start to stumble back over. Oh. Oh. It was oh, a good okay. one, Mike. I'm, I'm yeah, really glad like, I see you. And he reaches <laughs> to give you a handshake, but misses, and he's trying to find you. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. You guys are one apiece Looks now. Looks like we're one in one, and I. One day, Taruk. we'll have the brake tire. I had yeah, the, the, uh, the six the bottles tire. of the uh, onion ale, quote unquote. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy the six bottles of the onion ale. You know what? I believe I will, mate. I'm yeah, going. yeah, you will. Stay you will. Really Cheers. Just Cap, those are um strong. Can I nudge Torin? <laughs> strong. Strong. Just All right, mate. Careful. I can handle strong. I I can tell. Mm. So um, well then Cap Torin. <laughs> yeah. Do we know uh, what do we do from here now? 
Well, and which comes out, Belrin Turin. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I am the mighty Taruk Mudfish. You okay. are the mighty he's, drunken and, Taruk Mudfish. He's, and, he's good. Taruk's and, not my favorite. <laughs> Belrin does and, cure wounds, save from what looks nope, like alcohol I poisoning. I don't need saving, but I want to tell you guys that. I really, really love you guys so much. I think uh, you, I've, seen this happen before. You, I've seen this happen before. You, <laughs> you, you, Remy, and I love your accent, Remy. Uh, you know, I, I, or, 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 well, or can you, coffee. Or, or, can you, Remy, um, uh, Look at his big hat. Did I start flicking the feather? I mean, just, just, just. Belden, can you, uh, I mean, Torrid, it, it's bigger than anything you out. have. Hey, hey, Taruk. Hey, no, Taruk. I mean, why don't we, uh, why don't we start our way back to the, uh, the girls and we can, uh, we can drink some more when oh. we get back over there. Oh, the ladies? And the I, ladies. I know you love the ladies. Uh, let's, right. uh, let's take a walk, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, before we leave, I settle and, up and with the barkeep. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Of course. Yeah. All right. And, uh, all right. All right, I'm going to get up now. And I get up and I kind of push the table down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much help I could be to a, like, seven-foot-tall fucking... Just, ooh, I just me, guide him Stumbling out. Like, dude. I just put my hand on Belden's head and I use... Yeah, there we go. Got, like, both hands on your shoulders, kind of, like, yep. following you. Just holding like, on to an yeah. index figure. It's like, come on. Let's yeah, go. come on, big guy. <laughs> just kind of half-dragging him. Like, let's do. Let's go. Hey, hey, Belden, I have a question. You're... Your elf mistress lady friend. Did she have a baby? Uh, you guys yes, never Tarouk. told me if she she had Tarouk. a baby? Tarouk. She had a child. Yours? Yes, Tarouk. It Is wasn't it mine, Tarouk. You lost. That man, oh, that bought it bitch. Oh, that bitch. I start crying. <laughs> she had a baby and it's not <laughs> yours. She... It's it's Taruk, it's all I'm right, gonna, Taruk. You don't have to you cry. Want me to go break her? You know what? I'm gonna go no, break her. No, door Taruk, down. no, just stop I, crying. You're gonna drown me in my armor. I, let's just let's I, go. I I felt it. I, uh, this is terrible. I'm hurting He's so, so bad. <laughs> and I just heave on Belden's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> oh. Oh. I really need to learn prestigitation. <laughs> I'm oh. talking to Corrales as soon as I get back. Like oh, I need, I need it. At this point, Belden, oh, this I'll get revenge for you, Belden. I no, promise. no, you're gonna you're gonna get revenge for me by drinking your way to the bottom of a mug. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Like, you're shiny. Oh God. Um. <laughs> We're gonna. Did he find some Metagast? Anyway. Metagast is kind of just trying to stay inconspicuous as as a suit of plate armor can. Did he come with and, us, or uh, is he with them? <laughs> He's back at the uh, the light. The light. Okay. He didn't. <laughs> smart. Um, Very smart. But smart. that does leave uh, Torin at the table with Renard and uh, Benjamin. So if there's anything Torin she wanted to finish up there, we'll. Well, then we're gonna go to the light. Captain, I appreciate your assistance, and the uh, and the not you know, not giving me any information. Because you know, you would never just willingly give give away too much to anybody without you know. I don't know what your game is, but I'm gonna keep acting tough until I figure it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Go relax, Renard. I'm, I'm talking to your nice friend. Oh, you were talking to Ramsey, Benjamin. Yes. Okay. Yes, Ramsey's. Okay. I appreciate your subtlety. Okay. And your assistance. Well, get out of my room. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> and you just head down on this. Wow, they'll just let anybody in there, won't they? <laughs> so, Ramsey, before I go, Barkeep, can I get a bowl of water, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost laughing. Almost <laughs> laughing. She goes, Yeah, yeah, here you go, as she's cleaning up the mess. <laughs> That's her left uh i poor woman am very sorry for my poor. large friend no i have to say this is a rare bit of entertainment this place kind of gets stuffy sometimes so <laughs> don't, well, don't worry i'm glad and i put i put his hand in the bowl <laughs> Ramsey's <laughs> again you see yeah. renard's hands in the bowl he goes oh so you're the one uh, oh. 
<laughs> he told me that story. I didn't know. <laughs> oh my god! All right, oh, um, the legend continues. Or, <laughs> but I, I, I get up from the table again. Ramses, I appreciate your discretion. And, uh, uh, I, you got me a little lost, uh, concerning. Exactly. But uh, if you ever need a friend that can hit really hard and <clears throat> let me know. I will do that. So uh, before you go, a wood. Of course. And he pulls out like a, a torn bit of parchment and writes something down on it and puts it in his hand. He goes, it was nice to meet you, sir. Very nice <laughs> to meet you as well, sir. And when you pull your hand away, the parchment's in your hand. How Renard got the name Piss Pants Renard. <laughs> and I quietly exit the bar and head back to the All right. Bar. Okay. You take the parchment that he gave you and pocket it. Mm-hmm. Head your way back to the light. Where we return to the ladies who have uh, spent the, well, tell me how you spent the last couple hours. Uh, no, so definitely in, in the bathing like pools, we did that for a while. And I sure. would assume if it's okay with Nat, we're, we're back in my room, uh, back at my closet type thing. Yeah. Um, allowing Natil to kind of look through. Um, are you, do you still look, do you still look awkward as you're sort of doing it? Are you? Um. I was not as awkward as baby deer walking for the first time, but <laughs> let, let's go with, um, to- I'm a deer toddler. There we go. I'm a toddler deer, like kind of <laughs> falling through so, some of the dresses. But so I have as a- I sort of like go through, like as I'm going through the dresses in the, in the closet and everything, I, it's it's a large closet. It's 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 yes. large. It's, uh, it's very, you know, the room, it's not extravagant, a, a strong word, but it's, there's a lot and as it's I'm sort of, uh, yeah as I'm going through I sort of want to watch you and I just want to be I just want to ask you genuinely like um just no occasion for this as you grew up or just a genuine disinterest um a little bit of both honestly um you know my folks my sister and I we kind of grew up you know very very modest never really had any reason to partake in any of these kinds of events so pretty much um when you saw me what you saw the day we we helped you that's always just kind of been it for me were you raised a huntress or Um, i was raised as a huntress um dabbled a little bit with some uh, herbals um herbal remedies things to that nature my sister, though, she took a, uh, she was more keen on the, uh, more of the herbal size, whereas I, she was still a good hunter, but that was more of my lead, so to speak. Just the one sister? Yep, just the one, a um, couple of years younger than me. Oh, you're an oldest. Yep. <laughs> I, I some things. <laughs> oh, and Nat, for clarification, she would have been younger than you, but with the four year time skip yeah. would oh, be shoot. right about right. the same age oh huh. um yeah um so not a crowded, went, oh god oh not not a crowded household then just the mm-hmm. just the two of you and your parents yes up until they had passed on and then it was I hear that thank you it's oh my gosh it's it's almost out of memory now that as troubling as that may sound um that after they had passed it was isla and i for some time she and then we went on our own separate ways she um last time i had heard from her she had settled down and she had a couple of children of, of her own wow sort of a, when she mentions parting ways with her sister I kind of try to, to hide a sort of sad, but like understanding kind of look. 
Mm -hmm. sort of like a, a, a faltering, like, uh, yeah, yeah. kind of, kind of feeling. And then I pull out a really long blue dress with satin and frills and go, huh? No. Okay. I, I, no. Um, I, I understand. I just kind of keep looking. Are you okay? I mean, I just, I noticed, I, like, I, I just kind of felt like a personality shift, almost like, like I'm in the woods and I'm tracking an animal, so to speak. And I just, you know, get that, that sense of, I, uh, well, I'm, I, I'm sorry. No, I, no, no, no. I, 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 I can, I can relate to, to parting ways, so, so to speak. It's nothing so dramatic. It's, it's just, uh, uh, I, I, I can understand. Um, but no, you seem to have made a very strong holding for yourself amongst your own i can relate that's very impressive as someone who's 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 done close to the same i think i can i can definitely make out as to your character as being a strong and rooted one sometimes you have no choice and i can i can sit and in this environment you know i would have shriveled up and died <laughs> like i to be so blunt about it but I, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine not being in this environment, but I have to admit that the idea is, is interesting. You're, you're, you're an impressive one. It's a very, very impressive. Thank you. And just also being around this, uh, this group that I'm with, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you kind of need to find your like find your strength in order to keep up or it comes in many odd places i can admit me for example it it may seem i kind of glance around at the closet and the cosmetics and the jewelry and is sort of frivolous but we all find strength in our callings in our masks and at that, there's a knock at your door. Oh boy. Excuse me. Of gonna course. Make I go to answer. Darling. <laughs> Welcome in. Please, please. I hope I wasn't interrupting, darling. Absolutely not. Just getting and to know. Noticing that. Oh my goodness. Two nights, two nights, two nights are going to be wearing a dress. We may have a new one. Oh. Yes. What did you pick out, darling? Uh, nothing. Oh, um, Lady Vare had this really extravagant blue one, but I look back into the closet and I see something like a very dark green catch my eye. Oh, yes, darling, use the green with the, the auburn hair. The green will make it pop, darling. So I, I pull out the green one and I like the one you were looking at. Mm -hmm. and give it a very approving nod but then i also sort of give you a look and like a, i just kind of sort of glance back and go someday i think she'd look great in gold but for today i hand you the green one you you'll let me know when she does i will see that myself um I, thank you madam thank you there um um, maybe I don't understand. Um. <laughs> it's nothing. Go ahead and change. And anything else you need is at your disposal. Darling, um. I delight anytime I see you in something other than leathers. Nothing more. <laughs> but she looks so great in leathers. <laughs> I think, of course, oh, madam. Argument, but it's, just, it's <laughs> nice to see you in formal attire, my dear. You wear it well. Well, thank you. It strangely becoming very comfortable. And with that, I just take the take the dress, like I'm holding a very, very, a more expensive piece of fabric than my own soul. Right. <laughs> I walk and I turn and I 
What? Okay, <laughs> darling, it won't break if you drop it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, they can withstand rigorous activity, I promise. I'm going to take your word, your word for it, because for some reason, I don't think it would take me climbing a tree. Which... <clears throat> Certainly um, not. It would be very, very ungainly to try to climb a tree in an evening gown. If anyone could, I think she'd be the one I'd put my money on. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> I just chuckle to myself and shake my head. <laughs> um, continue, continue. I did not wish to interrupt. I simply wanted to see if you were here and check on you. That was all, darling. I think we'd be expecting the whole Motley crew for dinner. We'll see. Uh, although... Some may be partaking in a meal of their own. However, Mina, uh, I, I do have a, a, a bit of business to discuss. Certainly. As I've mentioned, and I'm assuming Nel Nateel's getting ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, we were looking for something a little more innocuous to travel in aside from one of the carriages. We don't have anything that would be of use, do we? Well, darling, you could use, we, we do have a, I, I, I don't want to call it a carriage per se because it's hardly up to our usual standards. It's simply used on, you know, to get supplies on the daily, darling. Just a simple errands around town. It's a very simple cart, but it would sit a, a group of, well, I would say at least eight people somewhat comfortably. Would it hold a lady huntress, a sir diplomat, a dragon child, a moderately sized tiefling and a smarter than the average brick? Mm, I think so, darling. Well, then I think it'll suit our purposes quite well. Honestly, Mina, Maybe it's yours. I'm tired of getting mucked on the road. It might be worth, it, it might be worth a change of pace for that to not be a hindrance. No Much doubt, better. darling. No doubt, would be a little bit more inconspicuous. Yes, draw a little less attention to yourself, as okay. you're so apt to do. <laughs> Through no fault of my own. Mm. <laughs> well, no. dinner will be served shortly, and I hope to see you there. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> and if uh, uh, later tonight, a, a moment more of your time at, at some point. Certainly, darling. My door is always open, and that goes for you, too. Yes, madam. You know you're my favorite. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> the door closes. And with that, we're going to pan to Corralos uh, alone in his chamber <laughs> and the luxurious light, taking his meal by himself. Poor little guy. You know, I oh, not yet. Right. See what Tim has up his sleeve. Um, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but um, it's Tim. Let's see. Uh, as the night grows, you, you finish your meal and mulling over uh, a little bit of the day's festivities. I mean, once again, there, there was a lot of changes to Brian, and there was a lot to digest from the day. And it, it, it's more than just the <clears throat> the overall expansion and, and the 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 you know the civilization of, of of you know the city of Brian as a whole, the 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 ongoings of uh, Belden's past, um, the uh, the reintroduction with uh, Maxine and her husband at the the mixtures, the seeing the old man again. It's there there was a lot to take in and there was a lot to digest. Uh, also, uh, the information that uh, was found out at the. A hall of records and that was, that was a lot yeah yeah and it feels like ever since that the um the gem that you always keep on your person you feel like it weighs a little heavier just did it and it's probably your imagination but it's just it feels like it's it, it's not something that you you pull out at all but you just feel like why why do I feel like I, I've, I've got a little more on my shoulders than usual? And right when that thought comes across your mind, you hear a familiar whisper in your ear and he goes, that's because he's watching you.
now. I can keep you hidden, but only for small amounts of time. He is watching you. Why? Because he Because I might have kept you hidden a couple times when he took a look in on you and it angered him. When? Why why would you do that? Anytime you're in the shadows, I'm protecting you. Anytime you're in the darkness, I can protect you. Other times you're on your own. At least until we both get stronger. Yes, but now what happens when you can't protect me and now he's mad at me? I told you there were trade-offs to this. Right, but you didn't tell me you were hiding me without me knowing. What exactly do you think a shroud does? Oh. Uh, yeah. You've been doing this since... I took you out of the crypt. Yeah. Kind of comes with the cloak. It keeps you hidden. As long as I'm in the darkness. Yeah. There's no like fireplace in the room, right? Not in this one. You're pretty much the the chamber that you're in is lit by a few candles. Okay. Can I... I'm not going to move. I'm just going to cast control flames. Can I put them all out? Yeah. Okay. Now it's just dark, right? Yeah, you see the uh, little trails of smoke coming off the, the recently doused candles. Very quiet. Can I pull the gem out and just kind of hold it, look into it? Yeah. Same as when it was uh, given to you years ago. It's At times, you've noticed it almost like a heartbeat, like a slow pulse. But uh, right now, it seems to be still. I'll just put it away and lay down. You do Probably that. Probably not going to sleep right away, but I'm just going to lay down. You do that, and uh, Shroud speaks to you again. He says, I'm doing my best. He He's going to... Uh, he's going to have a disagreement with what we're trying to do. And he's going to try to claim you until we're both strong enough to break this chain, linking you to him. Yeah. I just wish I would have known what you were doing. I kind of told you. I told you that I can keep you hidden as long as you stick to the shadows. I do now. I do now. I am trying to help you. But if today wasn't enough, just know that you have a very powerful being that you're tied to. And the fact that you and me are trying to break it is going to tick him off. Yeah, I assume. <clears throat> but given the new knowledge, I can't follow him anymore. I can't be attached to him anymore. It's going to get worse before it gets better. And we'll overcome. Shroud falls quiet. <laughs> 
now the happy crew from uh, the pub. Oh, now, God. Now reaching the, uh, the light. Porters, wash this. <laughs> <laughs> uh. They're kind of taking it. Oh, yes. Huh, right away. Well, then, and the you boots, made, too. You made a mess of yourself, Belden, naughty, naughty, Belden. Somebody give him a bath, please. I'm going to go get cleaned up, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It sounds, right. like, sounds like the rest of the gentlemen have returned. Do we hear that from my room? Um, it would be a f- I did yell Porter Washington. You did this. yell too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give I me did. perception. Yeah, go ahead and roll me perception. <laughs> All right. It was not the most subtle of entrances. <laughs> Hand over to Rook and my soiled things to the porters. So like, I'm done. Oh, that, 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 that's a two. That's a no. Dude, no, you don't. How about you, Nat? I'm used wait, to wait, being rowdy. Wait, what was it? Uh, perception. <laughs> 24. God, yeah. Damn. So. Even from being a couple stories up from the lobby, you faintly hear, you need to take a bath. <laughs> you, 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 you dirty, Belden. You take a bath and clean your boo how, how many porters are hauling him away? Just asking out of curiosity. <laughs> I, I look at Lee there and I just shake my head. I am so sorry I, for what you I'm, may be witnessing. I'm flying right now. Look, I tell, I tell the people. I, just, I dead weight the porters. Oh, I dead weight oh, them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, They're dear. moving now just barely, just like we're, a few, just a foot or we're two. We're going to need more time. quarters. Just like, a, just like a slow dragging your feet on the ground. So, uh, so when, when the teal says that, I'm just going to kind of, <laughs> and then I'm going to take a, um, like a comb. It's like a long, you know, hair stick with like a golden lyre on the end, like a harp. And mm-hmm. I'm just going to kind of twist your hair up in it, like a little top, little top bun with the gold ornament through it and just go, oh. whatever it is, we'll face it together. I don't think you've, I don't think you've faced anything quite like this before, but. I've been doing this for a very long time. And beauty tames the beast. Um, it might work. <laughs> Let's um, go. I got way late at the bar. I never made it. I, made it. <laughs> I don't I'm know. If sitting, it's I'm sitting at the bar, time. bootless. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite dinner time yet, but I'll go downstairs. Yeah, let let's <laughs> let's. I I would like to assess my assess the damage now. Like after dealing with Taruk, I need several more drinks to compose myself. So yeah, <laughs> I'm literally sitting at the bar, in everything but my boots and drinking. Mm. A discerning sight, if ever there was one. Yeah, this is that's nothing. That's nothing. I'm surprised he still he only lost his boots. Are we actually down there? Like, did we actually come down? Like, in the I'm gonna say, yeah, in the time that. Uh, Taruk went to uh, to get it, to, to, to clean himself up and for Belden, <laughs> yeah for them to take Belden's boots away and yeah I'd say that so I'm gonna, when I see Belden I'm gonna come to Belden the bar and I'm just gonna give him that low curtsy again yeah <laughs> just Lady, start- good evening uh, was it a good time you know what's not fun lady what watching a Goliath empty the contents of his stomach into a barrel <sighs> So barrel in any particular place? Hoping it's not in the lobby. I can't even remember the name, but no, it wasn't your lobby. Your lobby is <laughs> the gilded clean. carafe was the name. Mo- the, the gilded, the gilded carafe. It comes to me. The, gil- <laughs> the gilded carafe. There we go. And as, um. as they're talking, I come barreling back down the hall and I slide like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Are you naked? Woo! Just ask. Security roll, my man. Uh, am I naked? I don't know. Maybe. I need another drink, please, bartender. <laughs> just the strongest thing that you have. Put it. Just give me the bottle. Just give me the bottle. 
A couple of the porters have kind of are now trying to like, you know, I've seen things I can't unsee. back to the <laughs> back, back also to the... Taruk, good for you, but man, I cannot see that. <laughs> <laughs> Taruk, oh. kind of... go go with the nice men and get uh, finish getting cleaned up, okay? Uh oh, Nat. I there's something in your hair. Taruk, go get cleaned yeah. up. Yeah, then you're looks... kind of you're trying to corral you back towards the bathhouse area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. And I'm just rambling as I'm walking. It's fading. <laughs> you guys want a loop on my back? All right, come on. We have people for that, good sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Adorned, <laughs> adorned in a in a, a red kind of uh, velvet, you know. Uh, shoulderless uh evening gown you see the madam just kind of oh one of yours <laughs> looking at looking at y'all uh, un- unfortunately <laughs> yes, uh, madam. yes madam that, Ver- that dejected, Ver- yeah. yes madam veronese is is honestly just laughing and and i don't mean like like the reserved kind of giggling yeah. she does i mean like full belly Laughing. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. By like, the way, guys, like, this is this is kind of nice. Just kind of wiggle the dwarf tools. It's like ah. <laughs> Belvin, what did Taru get into? He threw up on my boots. Who? Okay. Oh, we ran into the captain. He really? didn't remember that we made well, him piss himself. Well, he so that was that, a positive I'm ask, thing. I'm gonna ask the porter to get Belvin some new, some new boots. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. So we ran to Renard. It was real cool. It was real nice. And uh, Taruk went ahead and challenged him to a drinking contest, oh, which he lost. Really? Yeah. I was just as surprised. Also, also, wait for it. Torin made a bad bet. And now he owes me money. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> no, no, Nat. I'm not accepting your gold for this. Torin oh. will will work off the debt somehow and i just have a, i just have a gleam in my eye as i say that <laughs> where is he anyway he hasn't showed up yet he would have walked in right with oh oh well, no, well he, he stayed behind a little minutes, bit that's yeah. why my bad uh he, he's he'll be along shortly he's uh just kind of trying to help me i guess clean up the uh taruk aftermath if you will oh dear oh yeah oh yeah it was uh, it was like watching uh, the carriage wreck. You know, you, you couldn't look away. You couldn't look away. <laughs> um, where is Torin and Sir Metagast? Sir Metagast is with you the light. guys. He's kind of just kind of lingered in the lobby, trying not to attract too much attention. Torin okay. has not quite made it back yet. He was okay. a few minutes behind the rest when it came to leaving. Did, did they bring me my bottle yet? Because I don't need a cup. I want to forget what I saw. <laughs> Taruk's thunderous form running into the hall, just just bare. Hey, That's uh, it. I have a genuine question, Tim. Yeah. Genuine question. Have we ever had rowdier patrons? Probably not. Okay. Just wondering. We make an impression. And Madam does not appear to be bothered by it either. She kind of looks as it is kind of a breath of fresh air. I... Yeah. More more entertaining than anything. How many yeah. like actual patrons do we have in right now that are like visiting the the light? How many patrons? I'm sorry, what average? No, 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 or... like right now. Are there any like who are who are there patronizing the light or is it just mostly in-house people? Um at this point, you've seen uh, I mean, you've seen a couple people who are uh, <laughs> um guests for a few of the courtesans, but none down in the lobby, you know, right now. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Oh boy. You've Was seen that a, a couple? Many... You've seen a couple gasp, a gasp faces come from the uh, the bath the the bathhouse area, kind of just. Kind of <laughs> oh, so you guys little, ran into Taruk. A little okay. annoyed, a little taken aback by the very loud drunk Goliath. <laughs> just shake the bottom at them. This is the only way to cure that, right here. This is it. Do it's I turn? So. <laughs> do... Do do you have any idea who that Goliath is? I just let it just let it be. Maybe that's your best bet. There's like a human. <laughs> you see, see like a a human in like a basic tunic, just kind of like nod and just look back and shake his head. And... I kind of look at him a little sternly, like. 
Just let it be. Kind of back nod away. Nods and kind of says no more about it. If Taruk shows and, back and up just, and starts singing, and I'm for, out. Uh, just for clarification, Corrales, you stayed in your room or did you come down? I stayed in my room. Okay. Okay. That was sorry. That was just clarification. So. Okay. Is it like dinner time? Dinner time? Or are we going? To yeah. Bed? Yeah. You're well yeah. into dinner time. Now. Did they bring me new <laughs> shoes yet? Yeah. Well, you, uh, it takes a few moments. They bring you some <laughs> some new shoes, and they said, "I hope these will suffice until we get yours uh, properly cleaned." <laughs> Much appreciated, Sir Porter. Tim, before and we go to dinner, the new boots. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's like retconning, but before I would have liked to have, uh, as everyone kind of goes into dinner or whatever, like as we're going. Um, can I, can I physically, can I find Sir Metagast? Like, I assume he's somewhere nearby. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. I want to, I want to see, like, he's just standing in the lobby. Yeah, yeah. He's not sitting down for dinner or anything. He's just trying to kind of be off to the side to himself and not in the way. (laughs) Do we notice, like, Lady Vera looking for something? Do we notice her doing it? All right, uh, roll perception if you're trying to specifically... Suss this out, whatever this is. 18. Yeah, you notice. Oh. Well, I'm walking La- Lady Vera, what troubles you? Nothing. I'm looking for our reserved friend for some oh. oh, that's real easy. Watch, watch. Hey, Metagast! Yes? Where are you? You're just coming from like... <laughs> Or like from from behind a bookcase, he goes. I was posing as a <laughs> ornamental set, set of armor over there. Listen, Metagas, as long as you just don't take off the helmet, you could actually you could be a person. <laughs> I I had a question for you, actually, sir. Yes. Uh, I I can't. Again, I can't do anything practical for your affliction as far as the partaking in the dinner, but if, if you'd like to join, I, I could offer you maybe some repose for a short time, if you'd like. Sure. Um, is anyone kind of... in the lobby? Uh, currently, other than a few of the porters, no. There's no like clientele or anything, if that's what you're asking. Okay, so I just want to ask him very clearly, like, would you like to attend without your armor for the night? Um... Would that be, and he's searching for the word, acceptable? Here, and I'm going to kind of hold out my hand and see if he takes it. Uh, Hesitantly, he does. Um, Okay, and then I'm going to sort of, I can't take his helmet off because it's probably heavier than I can, you know, what, you know, but I'm going to kind of, is there a visor? Is it just the helmet? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a, 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 definite visor that kind of comes up and down like i said think of it kind of like a like a uh, old english knight that okay kind of... then i'm gonna tell him uh if if you would and he kind of looking around i'm going to slowly just to not freak him out i'm gonna kind of how tall is he uh roughly around six feet tall Okay, so he might have to bend down, but I'm sort of gonna gently push him down to kind of my level and lean up. Okay. And just kind of give him a kiss on his bone cheek. Okay. Are we watching this happen? Is this happening in front of us? I mean, it's not like it's being hidden. Oh, so it's yeah. a dinner and a show. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss him on his bone cheek, and as I do, and then pull away, I'm gonna cast Alter Self. Uh huh. On him, and I don't know what he looks like. So I'm just gonna give a general handsome approximation of a man. Dark hair, okay. moderate length, no stubble, kind of sandy hair actually. I'm gonna give him like sandy hair, lighter okay. features, kind of gruff, but you know, not chiseled, but gruff and unoffensively handsome. Okay. And so we just kind of pull away and uh you that's what you see before you guys. The uh now uh, we'll call it not corporeal, but the now somewhat human Metagast. Metagast, you look fantastic. It's not much, I, but you could at least join us for the night. I, wow. Can he eat like this? Or? He, he's kind of choked on his words. He's got nothing. 
and, and he walk into he, dinner. Yeah, yeah, and he kind of uh, has the, ha, has enough to know that he he bows kind of deeply, even for him, and he usually makes a show of it on on normal, very uh, sincere and very thankful. Okay, I'm walking to dinner. So you see Sir Metagast uh, still in the plate armor. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, with uh, Lady Fair on his arm, you see the now human looking Sir Metagast coming to dinner. Metagast looks good, guys. Real good. This this is a little different. And he, op- he uh, pulls your chair out for you, Vare, and still Metagast, still this yeah. <laughs> old. <laughs> You know, this old very gentleman chivalric mindset. For sure. But now it's not a skeleton. Now it's a human looking person. At least for a little while. Yeah. Well, I, I imagine I would scare <laughs> scare fewer people this way. And he takes a seat. I just don't say a word, but I reach over and I put my put a hand on Lady Bear's shoulder and I just give it like a squeeze of appreciation impress impression like impressed and like a thank you i just want to give her a verbal thank you because you know i like, guess has been hiding in there for a while it's I, nice to have him out and about airing out the bones if you will <laughs> absolutely but i can't i like i couldn't express a thank you just so, sort of like oh no i gave her a verbal one you gave uh, her yours and i gave her mine Good man. Meta gas isn't the only one sitting there in full armor because I never went and changed. Dinnerware <laughs> is stuffy, and I do not appreciate it. Yeah. That's Good man, Belden. <laughs> Although I feel kind of bad, like I know Corallus. I know he's he stayed upstairs, but Taruk and Torin aren't here. Maybe I should go at least wait for Torin to. Oh, I would assume he would have come. Whatever you have to do, of course. Yeah, don't stand on occasion for us. No. <laughs> You're our guest. Oh, well, thank you. With that, I um, kind of retreat myself over to the to the doorway, and I wait for Torin to show up. Uh, it doesn't take long. Just, oh, just almost immediately, I come storming in. Whoa! What was chasing I, you like a bat out of hell? I slammed down fifteen gold in front of Belden. We need oh. to talk right now. Oh, right. You, now. you see, you came through the door and went all the way to the dinner table, and in front of everybody at dinner, you you did that. Uh So no, 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 no. This this wow. is more important than the gold I owed you. This is really important. All like, right, so I excuse myself from the dinner table, and Nat, I Nat follow uh, Torin, Lady Bear. Okay, sure. If you want to join us, this is big, real big. But uh, around this time, Taruk, you're being uh, led and you, you've got a little bit of coffee in you. So you've sobered up just a little bit. So you're not you're not nearly as loud and hysterical, but you still have your buzz. I'm going to look at I'm going to look to um, to. Uh, uh, I'm going to look at Belden and just sort of be like, is is this. He doesn't normally get this excited unless it's something important. I mean, no, look I, at his little I, dragon tail. It's twitching. It twitch. No, I meant, uh, is this something you'd, you'd want to share with me? Well, Lady Fair, seeing as how we're going to be travel companions for quite some time, and also seeing as how, uh, I mean, I feel like you've already pretty much ingratiated yourselves, or yourself into our group here i feel like uh i feel like you can listen to this you can come along there seems very shocked isn't the right word but similar to that and and it's it's like a confused well lady you haven't given our secrets yet you haven't turned us away knowing two of our biggest secrets Uh... we have no reason not to trust you so far huh all right. Or you can stay here and enjoy your dinner, and we'll be back shortly. Uh, Rather yeah. subtly, eh, the elegant presence of the madam 
brushes right by you there, and you just feel a hip check to your back. <laughs> <laughs> and she just keeps walking. Do I notice the hip check? Oh. Uh, perception check. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to shoot Mina a very, like... <laughs> ah, 23. You saw it. The madam has spoken, Lady Bear. Follow me. Oh, oh, okay, okay. She, all she does is just kind of like raises her eyebrows, like, yep. and keeps going. That is the madam. I'm gonna shoot her sort of like a shall we then kind of look, and I'm gonna take them somewhere secluded, like not my room, but somewhere like an empty parlor, somewhere I know is empty. Mm-hmm. And catching the gravity of it, I'm sort of gonna uh, politely tell the porters that we don't need their assistance. Whatever servants are in that room to sort of be like, oh, right. we would need But I did it. bring a conversation out with me because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of, kind of building, you're kind of eating on the go. You just kind of like... <laughs> no, no, I just, I just brought, I just brought the, the food on the go. It's it's yeah, convenient yeah. and it comes in a mug, so yeah. That's oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> the liquid dinner. As they're all talking, as they're all talking and this happens, they sat me down and I'm eating but i'm staring over at somebody in metagas's armor right 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 <laughs> it, it, nobody's oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my god kind of like quadruple checking the you kind of like why are you staring like you <laughs> <laughs> okay, just eat faster and faster the more i stare i just eat faster and faster with a deeper stare at him <laughs> oh good <laughs> It's like an anime. <laughs> it's amazing oh what, what four oh, ales would do to Taruk. It's amazing. And then I finally, I put my fork down, I chug some some water there next to me, and I point right at him. <laughs> I, I point and directly at him. He kind of regards you and goes, shall we? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I just got, like, the evil monkey. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I'm so glad everyone got that. All right. No. Put it over here. Like. All right. So, so we all. You all right. find your way to this uh, secluded room off to the side. It's like, all right, Torin, now that I have my conversation ale, what's so important <laughs> that you pull this all from dinner? Bear's going to sit so- down on one of the like small Ottoman couches, sort of, and just sort of like. In the group, but a little off to the side, clearly a little bit awkward. Should I go get Master Corallos? Sam? Who invited him? This guy. Oh, uh, it's it's Sir Metagast. Holy mother. Oh, yeah, Master Torn. Welcome back, sir. You uh, look fantastic, Metagast, friend. If you're going to get uh, Master Corallos, I, I would do it. Uh, I would do it gently. We don't need any more holes in anything. Very gently. I think I like, know. Like, I know just the thing. Allow me. And basically, <laughs> an instant camera cut to Metagast at Corral's door. Man, and all I don't he know does if that was is, a good thing or a bad thing. And all he does is knock. <laughs> Master Corralos. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> I did. <Idiots. laughs> I'll open the door and then just look up, shocked. Like, who is this? <laughs> The big smile. <laughs> this overly grinning human male, <laughs> sandy brown hair with a little bit of gruff. Just I love it. 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 <laughs> I love this so much. Wait, Midigast? Yes, it's me. What? What do you want? It's funny looking like this, is it? Hmm. No. Uh, the group requires your presence. I, I'm so sorry to disturb you. It's okay. Lead on. And he does. Now the whole group has been gathered. Third right. conversation, you know, Torn taking a sweet ass time. They're wondering why Corralos. this group of strangers is, is asking all right, all her right. to participate I in things. Come up behind. Metagast and Corralos while I have my plate and I'm stuffing my face. I'm just eating and eating and eating, staring at Metagast. Greatly staring while Torin begins to talk. So and he's still just kind of looking at you like... Did we notice Tarut come in? Yeah. With them? Yeah. So, so, so... so Torin, take a couple deep breaths. 
calm down. It's so, okay. And then let it out. Ramses, our, mm-hmm. our good friend from the bar, Belden. Big hat, right? Ramsey. Big hat. hat. Ramsey. Right. Not Egyptian, Southern. Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey. The man with the big hat and the fantastic uh, facial hair. I mean, sure, sure. by human standards. Um, true, true. So, so he gave me some info on our friends that we keep running into. He said, you know, he's he's seen them out and about while he's been traveling. And he gave me a name. One name. What's the name? Seraphis Holder. <coughs> uh. As in former Chamberlain Seraphis Holder. Current representative on the city council. Current Ryan. representative on the city, oh, the city council. Oh, man, I knew I didn't like that guy. A.K.A. what I can only assume, S. All oh, right. Well, uh, hmm. I'm sorry if uh, if you have a, a short version of this. Um, kind of. Do you guys still have the note from S? Oh yeah, I have two. Kept yeah, all that. that. May I? Yeah, I hand him one of the notes. And I I show you know the one that says take care of the problem S. Uh, that would be the one from the doppelganger. Yes. Same person. Okay. Oh man, I mean, I knew he was just gave off that terrible person feel but now to have it confirmed mm. we got this note off the doppelganger that sent us to the parallel dimension where'd you get that note from comparison there this is from Ramsey this is the name he gave me he didn't say it he just handed me the note Tim. and, that's and we trust this guy just yes. off of knowing that he was at the golden craft would I know this individual who gave him the information? Uh, any, uh, Benjamin Ramsey? Through any channels. Mm-hmm. This big head, this fine mustache. All right, I'll call that a history. Okay. It's like short term history. 14. <clears throat> 14. Um, you know the, 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 not the reputation, but the, uh, the roots of Brian are primarily in merchant sailoring. And that was where a lot of the economy was, it was solely merchant merchant sailing and the selling of goods trading with other with other countries across the Silver Sea and bringing those goods through Brine. Brine became like a, like a hub. And eventually through, as the gold flowed, so did more people, the city grew. Um, you do not know this captain in particular, but, but hearing captain, high ranking information, channel A, channel B, this yes. makes sense to me, right? Yes. So I, I know we really don't like him, and we most of us have said some things to him and had some things said back to us that really make us want to just oh, hit him with something blunt. <clears throat> Real you, blunt. You've Holy crap, with something the, blunt. The, with oh the yeah, man? we've had run-ins with him before. Just oh, one. Yeah. Left a very, it's not a very good or pleasant time that we had. He has the charm of a horse's ass and the subtlety of not even that kindly of a thing. That's being nice to yeah, horse. Uh, you're you're being offensive being to nice horse's asses it. everywhere. Uh-huh. You have no idea. But we can't, like... I'm not saying that we go storm his house, but... I mean, we can't. Uh, this Friends. is but now we know what who we're looking for so Vera's gonna stand up is there a window in the room or a fireplace there is a window yes okay so she's gonna look at the window it's dark out so just kind of staring at a at a blank black just staring for a long time city you know city line yeah, yeah just pensive and then I'm gonna ask what do you all think this is tying back to 
Have we told Vare about the cult yet? Question to the group. Not, I, you, not I thought you were depth, researching though. them at the library. We haven't talked to Vare about the group yet. Not in the cult. Oh. Hmm. I'm... I must confess, I, I don't know very much about it either. Oh, handsome Metagast, it's okay. It's you can do no wrong. Wait a minute! That's Metagast? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! That's what I was looking for! There it is! Uh, Whoop! There it is! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Listen, what and this hopefully and, I mean I'm, I'm gonna address I'm gonna address the group now. I mean I I guess I could uh ask Lady Vair for a few minutes just to ourselves. Is that okay, Lady Vair? Would you mind just, just stepping out for a minute? Not at all. Does she leave she leaves she left the room, right? She leaves. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna call she does, Kitty. But she's still Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're gonna hang out by the door. Huh? The door. I call I call, I call <laughs> Mr. Kitty. <laughs> okay. He, hey, Mr. He kind of he kind of materializes. I thought you said I had the night off. I know. I'm sorry. I owe you one. Okay. That's but fair. but I need a solid. I need you. I need you to have our back here. You're gonna go out that door, and don't do your solid form just yet. You're gonna go out that door, and you're gonna see if there's anybody on this other side of it. You're looking for a, a lady outside that door. If there's a lady outside that door, I need you to chase her away. There's a lady outside oh, yeah. the door. Right outside the door, more than likely. And you want me to claw her. Eh, don't <laughs> hurt her, but do what you gotta do. Okay. Bear paw. Like, so, I there's, will be standing outside of the door like this. There's a, there, so there's a lady but I don't. Okay. Okay. I got. Th- I got this. Got this. I got this. Got this. You got know what? This. You know what? Cat treats before you go. Like, give him some. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Here we go. All right. He does and he as just, he steps just out the door, out. he goes. He uh, steps out the door, looking up at Vera. He goes, "Hey, did you see a lady? You're really bad at this job, dude. Supposedly really bad at this job. Like." I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna just kind of pet him behind the ears he kind of purrs a little bit and I'm just gonna tell him uh, tell your friends tell your friend that I have more respect for him than that and to also ponder who's benefiting Tell him, okay, dear. dear huh? Ask them to contemplate that, please. Ask them to get a plate of that. Okay, got it. <sighs> and then I walk away. She said that you guys needed to get another plate of that. Listen, man. If I could, okay, if I could no lower problem. your wages, I, I so go would. and get more food. I so would. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe. Yeah. Troop left to get more food. Cool. Yeah. Um, Mr. Kitty, just get, get, get go. Just go. While they're doing that, I want to talk to Mina. Just go. You see, well, my question, Mr. Kitty looks quick up question for group, That was funny, right? Oh. That, was that was crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty All right. Funny. So the quick question for the group was, do we want to drag her into this? I mean, we already have to travel with her. We already know what the deal is with the cult. So, I mean, she's kind of going to get sucked into it anyway. I say we give her the chance. How much much do we tell her? I say we tell her that we've had run-ins with a cult. We think we may have found someone high up. And she can walk away. Let's leave it at run-ins with a cult and forget about the higher up part for now. She can walk away before things get too dicey. Yeah. What What do you What do you think, Nat and Corrales? I mean, she's a part of this world, so she'll find out eventually about the Brotherhood. Um, better just to warn her, and she can help us. Yeah, yeah. Nat. Who's to say that she? I don't know. I've been around her enough now. I 
I, I don't want to say like there's an unsettling feeling, but I, I, I just, I feel like that there's something more. So, and just with everyone else that we've kind of ran into, I say, tell her absolute bare minimum that we can tell her and then give her the option. Cause so we'll you know. tell her we've had run-ins with this cult. They still may or may not be looking for us. And we'd understand completely if she wanted us, you know, if she wants to out, walk, she wanted to leave. She wanted to walk away. Okay. And save her to pretty much uh, save her skin, save her own skin. Well, seeing as how I'm on about my maybe sixth conversation, Ale Corrales, is how far does your, uh, how, can you reach her and let her know she can come back? Or does anybody want to go get her? I'll go. Um, yeah, I would have to go. Oh. All right. Well, somebody invite her back in and let's give her part of the truth are you going to or you yeah uh, i'd head upstairs to try to find her uh, i'm back in the, i'm back in the dining room the little bar off the dining room drinking a glass of wine it's so hard to find good help yeah. <laughs> i'm walking i'm walking up to lady v with a plate of food in my uh, head still <laughs> eating <laughs> Get, what? sorry i thought that was uh, <clears throat> Okay, well, and I spit some at Tord by accident. Sorry. <laughs> Lady Bear, if you uh -huh. would like to come join us, we have a few things to tell you. Not a no. word. Just follow him. Okay, you make it back. So they enter. Okay. Uh, when I come back in, right back to that window, just sort of lean against it, looking at it. By the way, in that little dead air space, I'd like to remind Belden that a cat has an intelligence of three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I think that. it was a smarter familiar than that. <laughs> I thought it was a familiar. Yeah. That's that one's on that one's on me. <laughs> Although it's gold. It was, was good pretty, though. It was good. That was, good. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was hilarious. All right. So now that Lady Vare is back, I guess we can go ahead and, and get down to business. So um, we've had dealings with this cult before, and um, we're not entirely sure that they are done with us. We know we're not done with them. Definitely not. But uh, it may get a little more dangerous than just highway robbers and if you want to go ahead and part ways with us we would we would understand honesty is one of the rarer commodities that i've dealt in and I can appreciate forthcoming. In exchange, I can only offer that I can potentially help you in future endeavors. And if you'll help me, those services, that credibility, that understanding of this world that you're clearly barely a part of and re-emerging into is something I can offer. I can't say I know much about what you're dealing with, but I'm willing to assist out of respect. And we'll be glad to have you. So it looks like we've reached an agreement. Looks like. And now we just have to finish getting our travel arrangements ready. Are we leaving tomorrow morning? Is that the plan? Well, now that you mention it, actually, uh, it looks like we do have use of a rather innocuous mode of transportation that we're willing to use uh it will definitely fit the all of us and again i'll leave the logistics up to you you're the experts here but we can leave uh prudently in the next day or two it will take a moment to get there and there's always a lot more involved in a formal occasion than meets the eye plus hurry is lovely if you've never been can't say i have well, definitely haven't. Again, 
whatever yeah. you all need, but uh, the next day or so, morning would be prudent. Um, as long as we have a map, I can, I'll <laughs> have the horses. <laughs> I think I know the way. Do I need to know? You would know, yeah, you would know the way roughly. I think you've traveled enough in the kingdom that you would you would you wouldn't need like a guide or anything right? well most of my business is in the milestones right so right yeah like i yeah, said no, most as of my business as just... you are i doubt that you would need a guide or anything yeah strangely to the group i, I don't do uh, I, I will tell you all that um uh, i i don't do most of my business in brine so i don't i have a fair amount of knowledge of the way very so. good tomorrow morning provisions and then tomorrow afternoon we or as soon as we get provisions we go i believe provisions would be well i mean i guess there's more of us than usual so i guess i'll leave that up to you i mean i'll buy rations and enough for the first milestone oh. mile marker at least I'm not gonna make you guys pay for your own food or like <laughs> trip. once we get there sure but like the trip wise i can buy rations uh, everybody, uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. <coughs> okay. Nine. Fifteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Twelve. Seventeen. Eleven. Continue. Sorry, I left my. I left my character sheet. Uh, 14. Okay. Continue. Uh, okay. So, um, I mean, I don't know how much. Yeah, how much? I, 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 I genuinely, I, I, I don't know how much for a week's worth of travel provisions for a group this size. Um, as far as provisions go, you guys can definitely, it's not going to run you. I can look that up for you if you want, but I that can be taken care of in the morning. That's not going to take you any time to procure. Okay. Just charge it to me, whatever it costs, and we'll put it right. on the cart. The cart I'm assuming is here. She said, and then I'm assuming we. Can yeah, get yeah, it. yeah. She's already off, and 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 you said you wanted to speak to her anyway, so so that'll yeah. she'll give you the details as far as the cart and the right, provisions cool. provided and everything. So then it looks like we're ready to leave tomorrow morning then. Very good. good. I'll tend to the, I'll tend the horses first thing. Make sure that you know they're everything's up to snuff there. And yeah, if if, if you go ask uh, any of the um, the stables are out back. If okay. uh, if you go speak to any of them, tell them you were sent by me for preparation of the journey. Uh, <laughs> if they have any questions, come speak to me or Philomena, and you can inspect whatever you need to, Lady Huntress. Very good. Thank you, Lady Bear. And I will now switch back from conversation ale to dinner ale because <laughs> I haven't eaten still. So if that concludes our business, I will be going back to the dining room uh, Nelga, attempting Erba. to salvage my dinner. There goes the <laughs> dining room, feeling strange. All right. As you, as you all start to file out of the room with your plan for the coming days somewhat set in motion and the, uh, you know, the uh, means of transportation, everything taken care of, as you start to file out of the room, you're at the, uh, the th uh, was this was Vera's room, correct? Before I misspeak. No, this like a room? like an or empty a... parlor somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna say this is on the second level. Mm -hmm. Then of the, uh, yeah, the light, and as you come out, you see the opening, uh, not the terrace, but the uh, the spiraling down staircases down to the lobby area, and what you see is a um fairly late at night but you see a robed figure walk through oh, the entrance yeah. of the light into the light <laughs> yeah into the entrance of the light and you see the porters taking the robe off it's a um kind of like a tannish uh rustic color to the robes as he t as he removes the robe you see a grotesque looking creature with chains wrapped around the head, the neck, all the way down to the midsection. And then you see more, more uh, rust and uh, 
definitely old looking chains with almost tendrils with meat hooks on the end just hanging off of this grotesque creature as you see one of the uh ten these uh chain tendrils reach out and grab one of the porters and hooks him immediately lifting him three feet off of the ground i'm seeking Corallos. oh just kind of like turn over look at corallos (laughs) look at corallos like huh and, and you see the the life leaves this poor porter as he just tosses and you just see as if as if held by an like almost like an arm and toss this tendril like chain throws him and he hit this poor porter hits the side wall and you just hear Corralos, he's found us. Uh, um, oh, Corralos. Why are our shenanigans cheeky and fun and your sad really- tragic dude? <laughs> Nearly seven feet tall as this thing just <clears throat> what steps through. You get a better look at this thing. It's an absolute horror of a thing, almost wrapped like a mummy, except it's not like fabric wraps. It's chained. You barely see oh the eyes peek through. God, it's, it's how this... far is it from us? How far is it? From You're us? on the second level. So you on the second got, level down? Yeah, yeah. You're on the second level. He's walking through the main entrance to the light, and you see the Can porters I, are backing uh, up, and people. You know, you you hear a, a one scream, and now you see what few people were in the lobby have immediately dispersed at the sight of this creature. We need to um, where? All right. I speak up and I whip my plate right at his face and I say, you want Corralos? You gotta go through me. And and if I can, I want to lunge right off. Right off the second floor, right on top of him. Wait, wait, Pinky. There we go. Okay. You you're not within like a pouncing distance like you've oh, got okay. like i said you gotta I think i was yeah let, let me give you a better uh idea it's at least i'm gonna say at least 200 feet from those spiraling staircases oh, right. to the entrance to the light it's like a big lobby area and, and uh so yeah there you wouldn't have i'm not i'm not gonna hold that against you because you didn't quite understand how the room yeah so, yeah i thought i yeah, would yeah, like yeah. you know when you said that i thought i could jump on him all right yeah, I, I got what you were thinking you're hoping you could pounce yeah. on him no, he's it's too far away yeah too far away that thought enters your mind you're like man i wish he was closer but yeah it yeah yeah and you just Bro. see this this hulking figure just <laughs> with every step you hear the jangling of the chains Corralos, uh, feel a tightening on your right leg. And you swear you hear a heartbeat Rosalie. as the black gem that you keep on you pulses. You see now these, and as this creature starts to and meets your gaze and looks directly up at the group of you at the top of the this banister, uh, it immediately locks eyes with you, Corralos, and just you see a grotesque grin come across his face. I'm here for you, Corralos. The hell is that? I have no idea, Torin. You see as these uh, chains start to animate and one uh, latches onto the uh, like the uh, uh, countertop to where the the main entrance of the lobby comes through. You see where some of the uh, porters and everything basically their little station and it just basically he lunges forward like 15 20 feet and he's just staring up at you waiting for you to come down well enough he set me for you and you're coming with me oh no i don't and think right so. there <laughs> Is where we're gonna cut <laughs> oh, 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 your oh, man, dude. Oh my god. Oh, oh, excuse man. you. 
Oh bad. my. Bad. 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 You're in danger. <laughs> Yeah. Like, wow. we, are, we are screwed y'all no, this is gonna be no. fun next week we're gonna yeah. die this guy walks into my house <laughs> <laughs> this mother <laughs> watch your mouth kind of my fault <laughs> yeah what? we'll talk later yeah we're definitely gonna deal with you're Corrales gonna get yours later, later young man Ah. But, I, oh my I, goodness ladies and gentlemen I, thank you so so much for watching this episode was very very interesting to say the least uh it seems like lady Vare is now a permanent part of the party so hi that is uh huh. a very fun and exciting uh addition seems like the party's in danger as well so <laughs> um Please tune in, uh, you know, not to sound corny, but tune in next week. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell on your YouTube app so you don't miss the uploads. Also, again, in the com- or, uh, in the video description is a link to UWC's Toys for Tots uh, charity drive, uh, their donation link. Please donate to it. It is such a good cause. And, you know, it's a Christmas season um some people aren't going to be as fortunate as others so it's it's going to help out a lot of good people so thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time